All right, welcome to another Hell Rod. Let's do this thing. <laughs> I already picked up two passengers. Uh, this is gonna be my third fare. Oh, I thought I closed that. I'm getting app, app requests. On top of app requests. That ain't cool. I did turn that app off. Let me go in there and do it again. Sometimes Lyft wants to be super annoying about the, the pinging and the, the bleeping and blooping. Putting fares on top of other fares. Where are we going? This one, no, I think I'm pretty far away. Like, it, it picked me three miles away. I don't know. Maybe nobody else wanted this ride. <laughs> this rider just cancelled. As soon as I get here. Oh man. Maybe it's a good time to get some coffee. I got gas. Just for showing off. That ain't bad. Four bucks. It was three miles, so. A dollar a mile. A little bit more than. Alright. Let's turn this lift that app back on. Go online. Let's do this thing. Get off the turnpike here. Okay, so
Oh, jeez, I gotta go all the way to Marshall. And Buddy was in that plaza. Oh, <laughs> that's so terrible. Sometimes you just get patient. I just wanna yeah. think you gotta move locations to get things.
started rolling out like this new uh, a program where there's actually tell the drivers how much the fare is worth before they pick up. That hasn't come to my area yet, so I'm still in the dark if this is a two dollar fare or a <laughs> you know, twenty dollar fare or an eighty dollar fare. Who knows? Yeah. Just past you when when you, you dinged, I had to go all the way to the
then turn left. Turn right. Turn left. Turn left. left. It doesn't work like that. Who, who are you here to, to get picked up by? Robert. That's me. Yeah, what if I use you can... Okay, your name's Faba? That's Faba. Fabia. Fabia? That's you right there? Turn 
left, and then turn left. The reason why that sometimes you know people get into the wrong car. You yeah, know? I know, I know. I've been there. I've had people get in the wrong car. But knowing your driver's name is more important than the driver knowing your name because, okay. you, you know, the only information they give us is your first name. Okay. And I say your first name and you're like, yeah, that's me. And it could be not you, <laughs> you know. Well, you got my picture, you got my license plate. You got a lot more information on me than I have on you. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Going to work, I'm assuming. Yes. By the entire yes, turn I left. Yeah. Turn left. Turn left. Looks like a nice little neighborhood back here. Yeah. Pretty quiet.
of them are prepared and in the roping pan and touching and around in the back. And yes, we have access to the in the back because around in the pan and pan them go. You have to carry them around here in the kitchen to pack them up. So everybody will work, they have access to around in the back. Around in the keep and I pack up and them and you have to pack them up around here. Where they would get that from to bring to work because it's show. No, I uh, 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 no, You can't carry the mess of lane, I'm plenty. Of. Right, I can see. 
exist. And 0 0.1 miles. Keep Keep right.
7.1 miles. Turn left. Turn left. Don't let them work you too hard.
navigate me to Publix. Here are the search results for Publix. Turn right, and then turn right. Turn right.
looking for Sericana, but we can go to your destination first.
hot out there today. Keep hydrated, okay? Drink water. Mucho uh, agua. Good one, man. Have a good one, man.
0.1 miles terminal. left.
baby. Alright, have a great one, man. Yeah, you too. Just put this part for you.
this is a crazy one. Three hours. All right, let's Key do West. it. Key almost, West. It's it's marathon. It's almost two hours. Okay. What did you? No route found. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> How are we gonna get there? Uh, <laughs> All right. That's cool. Yeah. I've never seen that before. It says we'll get there by seven. <laughs> Just to let you know. That, it's good. This is like the most last minute thing. So. All right. Yeah, that's what it is, right? Wish I had my car. I'm originally from Tampa. You know, I'm here for school or whatever. Yeah. But my um, friend of mine, the day before I moved, is backed into my car and, like, pumped it up. So, oh, uh, geez. I had to leave it there. Fixed, and then my, you know, I'm staying there in an apartment, and they like, Turn left. don't have space for my car. Oh, they're like, we don't, we don't have a parking spot for you. So. Do you like Tampa? I do. I mean, it's, it's nice. It's nice that it's small, but you also kind of get, like, a little bit of that city feel. Yeah. So. I've been, I performed a couple times in Tampa. Really? Yeah. Music I did, Yeah, music. I do experimental noise music. And the International Noise Festival <laughs> happens in Tampa. It's called Noise Fest. I have not heard of that. Yeah, I went there like maybe two or three years. It's, it's a nice place. Yeah, yeah. here's you know, much nicer. I mean, you know, comparatively here is nicer. Yeah, but well, some parts. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> so, very true. Some very parts. True. There's some parts in Fort Lauderdale and Miami that are just like, well, it's a little sketch. Yeah, Broward's a little suspicious sometimes, but, you know. Yeah. Polk is nice, though. Yeah, exactly. Love it over here. You get more of, like, the beach. You know? I doubt I'm going to find a fair <laughs> that, that goes not wants to go that far north. Yeah. But maybe. Yeah. Who knows? You might be my last fair for the evening. No, it's not good. Like, really? Like, I feel like this is such like, an inconvenience for... Like, if it was... If it was, like, going north, I'd be real screwed. Yeah. But since it's going south, I can go to, like, South Beach and pick up people from over there. Yeah. You know, I thought with Uber, people didn't really want to leave their little hub. So. I don't care. As long, as long as it's a trip, it's saying, I don't care. Yeah, I was going <laughs> to say, like... I once had to go to Trump's little island thing. Uh, oh, Mar a Lago. Uh, Mar a Lago, yeah. Yeah, I once had to go from like South Beach to Mar a Lago. Ugh. And I was oh, like. That's like South Beach to West Palm. <laughs> it was a rough one because there was no fares and when I got there. Yeah. So I was like, what am I, what am I gonna. I just got to drive back and eat the gas. <laughs> but I know, I know in that area that they'll because there's always tourists. Mm -hmm. I've never seen the root not found option though. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've is it on your phone? Does it, does it show you a route? Yeah. Weird. Alright, Uber, just acting funny today. <laughs> well, I got, I got your destination because... I was just saying, like, I, don't, I don't think it would have let me put it in. Yeah, it's just not showing up on the actual app. But it's showing up on my weed, so that's all that really matters. I'll get you there. You've been doing Uber long? Uh, I just started getting back into it. Okay. Yeah, I'm triple vaccinated and yeah, got they, the boosters. Yeah, I was say, I got my two vaccines, my booster. Yeah, like, I, I've had it twice, I know that I ice, I know that I can survive it. I've actually never had COVID. Never had never. it? I mean, I'm, I haven't gotten the antibody test, though, so yeah. I don't, like, I'm, I may have been... Yeah, some people get it and don't even realize yeah, they have I it. I might have had, I might have been, like, asymptomatic or yeah. something, but I, not to my knowledge, I've not had it. Yeah, you haven't had any symptoms. Man, it laid me out for a week, though, like, really? each time I got it, yeah. Yeah, 
Um, I just recall, I, I just dropped probably two weeks ago. Okay. That was on me. Oh yeah, that sucks, dude. Because <laughs> I don't ever get sick. Like I've just, I've probably been like badly sick maybe twice in my life, and like one of them I don't remember because I was super little, and then another time I got like a combination of the flu and food poisoning at the same time, and that was two point one double nice. whammy. Not. Food poison. Uh, yep. Oh, Jimmy John's. Oh, Jimmy John's. Which is horrible, because, like, Jimmy John's. Man. Yeah, man. One cough can do it, man. Yeah. Like, John Wright. One, you know, you'd be meat out for a little bit too long. Yeah, my body was just like, eh, no. That shit becomes toxic. Mm-hmm. It was my uh, my younger cousin's, like, probably 10th or 12th birthday or something, and all of his little friends showed up, even though they had, like, the flu and ear infection. Oh, and the other. I'm like, dude. Why? Yeah, like, sick people are the worst. No, it's just like, <laughs> it's just, I don't know. They're like, very, yeah, if you got an event, don't, don't show up. To it. Exactly, but like, I don't know. It just irritated me because it was like this backyard pool party thing, and he had gotten like a snow cone machine, a popcorn machine, because I don't know, that was like the thing for him, I guess. Like, yeah. Oh, this stuff is so cool. <laughs> and then all the little kids are just sticking their hands in it, and I'm like, dude, like, don't do that. This is so gross. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like Bush Gardens. Bush Gardens is nice. I mean, it's like compared to most amusement parks, I'd say it's pretty, you know, I would put, tier, but like well, for the for the roller coaster aspect of it, it's yes. Okay. Yeah, I would put it right under right under uh, Universal. True, because Universal the theme is like way better. Yes, because there's just more to do and just better roller coasters. I agree. And uh, I would put it right above Disney. I agree with because that. Because Disney kind of sucks as far uh, as roller coasters go. Everyone's like, oh, Disney, Disney. I'm like, no. no they, then it's those just, ride, those rides are. there because it's the theme. Like, yeah. Oh, Disney, you have to go. Those rides are like 60 years old. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're not like I the greatest. My favorite Disney ride, though, is definitely the, like the one in the Hollywood Studios. The rock and the roll of the rock and roll. Oh, okay. That's the best one. Five yeah, it goes, upside, it goes upside down. It goes upside down at least. Yeah. Exactly. But I don't know. I guess the best the, one the best one I've been on is the Universal um, Raptor, the new Raptor one. Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, one mile. Either way, it's, it's brand new. But that one had me my butt cheeks clenching, <laughs> and I was like, oh geez, yeah. this is uh, <laughs> kind of scary actually. Because yeah. it, it goes upside down, mm-hmm. but gives you enough time. To realize that you're upside down. To leave the seat. Oh, okay, all right. So you're in this harness, yeah. but you left the seat. Yep. So you're like, oh, this is a. It hits you a little bit. Yeah, yeah. oh shit moment. <laughs> yeah, I did that Which when I nice. went on in Fish Gardens. They had that Falcon's Fury thing to drop where it's yeah. like, you go up. I hate roller coasters like that because it's like, I hate that like feeling in your stomach where you like feel your stomach. In your yeah, throat. like your your yeah, like, like it's just, weightlessness. Yeah, like it's just nasty. But you know, I'm sitting in it and we're up there and you're just kind of sitting up there looking at everything and you're like oh this is cool and then the seats just like so then, like you rotate <laughs> yeah. to face the ground yeah look and at this ground it, that, that yeah, you're I, gonna like, smash into yeah I forward into the harness and I was like oh, oh. shit <laughs> what's like, going on I was like oh okay. <laughs> no that was horrifying but I don't know I like Wish Gardens just because you're outside like everything's outside so yeah you, you got the you animals and all the stuff you can see more so if you don't feel like doing any more roller coasters, you're just like... Sit around, look at a draft. Yeah. <laughs> Watch an elephant take a poop. Exactly. And it's cheap, too, compared yeah. to... Yeah. Season so pass cheap. for like 120 mm-hmm. I'm down with that. <laughs> and it was just convenient for me, because it's probably 20 minutes, 30 minutes from my house. Not even. Yeah. I mean, with traffic, probably 30 minutes. Yeah, we just got back from Universal. Uh, I like Universal. It's like I don't know. It for the roller coasters, yeah. Yeah, it has a, it's up and down, I guess. And, and uh, that one park needs a do-over. Um, like the Universal Studios side of the park. The Islands of Adventure is cool. Yeah, but I feel like they put more effort into that one. But they need to get rid of some of the older rides and just replace them because. How relevant is E.T. nowadays? Come on, guys. Not at all. (laughs) (laughs) 
nobody knows who. It, my kid was like, "Who's the ET?" I was like, "Don't worry about it, dude. Yeah. Just get on the ride." Yeah. <laughs> Even with like the Simpsons stuff half the time, like you'll go in there. It's, it's like, really jerky. What is this? Like, and I'm like, super jerky that ride. I mean, it's just like nostalgic, I guess. Yeah. Because that was like one of the big things at the time. Yeah. It, it was uh, Back to the Future at one point. You change. see, I would have liked that. Like, I, I think that's cool. But yeah. I'm also kind of like the in-between stage of, like, not knowing what half of this stuff is and, like, <laughs> kind of having, like, a little bit of an idea. Yeah. That and the Transformer ride was, like, almost nauseating. Yeah, yeah. I just, you know, I don't find much enjoyment in the one where it's just, like, a screen. And you, like, wiggle around. Like, okay. The, but the transfer wasn't the worst. The worst one was the what is it called? Fast and the Furious. That was such a oh my god. That was the worst ride such I've ever been a on. Waste of forty five minutes <laughs> right? to stand around to just be on a bus, bus and then have two screens on either side. I'm yeah. like, who cares? Like, okay. Who cares at this point? It's all about family. Yeah, family <laughs> and Coronas. <laughs> right. Oh boy. But yeah, that was the worst one. And uh, some of those rides are a little uncomfortable for bigger guys. Mm. Or bigger people in general. Because I got on that Harry Potter, like the motorcycle one. Yeah, that was. And I was like, this is a little. Even on me, I was like, damn. Like, yeah, this is a little crap. I'm a little, I'm a little, a little uncomfortable here. Yeah. What is this ride over? <laughs> <laughs> that and the Avatar one at Disney, where you like. I've never in. been in that. I've oh, not good. No. Not good. Because it's the same thing. Like, you're looking at a monitor and it's shaking uh, you about. But in this one, it, like, cramp, like, crushes your legs for some reason. And I'm like, yeah. Wish Gardner's just added a new ride where they, they replaced one of the old ones where it was, like, all made out of wood. Yeah. And they just redid it. And I went on it because we had our, um, Season pass? No, when I graduated from high school, they had, like, the, whatever, grad night thing where you go out and you go to, like, a theme park or whatever, and we went there, and it was right at that, right it opened up, and it was amazing. Like, that's probably one of my favorite things is there now. Do you remember what the ride was called? Uh, I think it was Quasi. Quasi. Uh, yes. The original one was wood, and it sucked, and it like would always make me so nauseous. And I just never enjoyed it. And they finally tore it down. Not too long ago. Are they like structurally kind of just like replaced a lot of it to make it help? They can do. Yeah. So now it's called Iron Quasi. It's kind of straight down, I guess. All right. That's what you want. Yeah. If you ever get a get chance down. and you're in uh, Tennessee, check out Dollywood. Got a lot of wooden roller coasters, and some of them are pretty fast for wooden roller coasters. Right. It's a different kind of. I'm scared. Like, is this thing gonna break on me? Yeah, that's <laughs> another thrill. Well, everybody's breaking down today, huh? Looks like it. Breaking down and crashing into each other. It's pretty hot out, man. I was telling everybody to drink water today because I almost passed out earlier. I was mowing my lawn. That was the worst. I remember, right, so I used to mow my lawn probably, you know, once a month, maybe. Yeah. And in the summertime, maybe once every two weeks. Okay. And it gets hot, and I would always like, oh, this sucks. I do the whole thing myself. Yeah, yeah. We used to have, like, my mom hired a guy to do it, and then she was like, yeah, I'm tired of doing this. I'm just going to buy a lawnmower, and you're going to do it. And I'm like, okay, like, that's, sure. I guess. And she would, like, bug me all the time, like, oh, you haven't been out there in so long. Like, it's not fall. <laughs> the, the yard is fine. Just because I don't go out there doesn't mean it's cold. Yeah, unacceptable. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't grow in the winter because it's cold. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know, she would, like, bug me all the time, like, you know what, I get it, but, like, have you been out there to do it? No, so, no, so, think about it. Yeah, you gotta stay hydrated, that's the key. But it's so hot, and, like, I, I don't have my car, I have to bike to class every day. Oh, jeez. And it's... Brutal, huh? It's miserable. <laughs> 
You gotta get one of those e-bikes. I thought about that, or getting like a moped or one of those small like mini motors. Like, oh. I saw some e-bikes for less than six hundred dollars. I was like, really? Yeah. Because all the ones I saw were like thousand, like, thousand. two thousand. But I saw one online. It was a six hundred dollars. I don't know if it's Chinese or what, but six hundred bucks is six hundred bucks. That's better than triple that. Like, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about getting a motorcycle, but I would get probably disowned by my family if I did that. <laughs> not a big motorcycle family. I, I, I guess not. It's just like I talked to my mom about it too, like a while ago, and she was like, "It's not that I don't trust you, because I trust your abilities." Flirty and drivers. I just don't trust <laughs> other people. Yeah, I was like, the worst. Yeah, I get that, but like, what are you gonna do? And you know, half of my family's from New York, and the other half is here. So it's like I have the mix of normal driving in my genes, I guess. So I guess I'm just used to it. And I've driven in both places. I've driven all the way to. God, where did we go? Oh yeah, I drove to Long Island, which was interesting. Not a fun drive. Twenty, twenty-five hours. Yeah, that's miserable. Yep. 25 hours. Jeez, I mean, we stopped twice. But yeah, it's like when I have to drive to Tennessee. That's about a 24 or 25 hour drive. It's miserable. Even driving here from Tampa yeah, sucks. Yeah, 90% like, of it's Florida. <laughs> it's like, dude, why? Like, this is awful. And it was, it's like three and a half hours from Tampa, maybe. Yeah, where's that, where's that speed train at, huh? Yeah, please, like, what happened? <laughs> what happened? They were that? talking about it for, like, what ten years. That? I don't know. We got one that goes from, uh, West Palm to Miami, but that ain't good enough. No, it's like, I could take the train home if I wanted to. Like, I could take the tri-rail from here to How long does that take? West, I have no idea. Probably at least six hours. Yeah, I was gonna think, like, you gotta stop and... All this other nonsense. Probably about six. I'd say six, maybe six and a half. But, you know, the tri rail might... to West Palm and then West Palm to Tampa. But it's just inconvenient if you're going literally anywhere else. Yeah. Look at my car. It was a Hyundai Tucson. I, I lease that car and I'm not even driving it. Ugh. So I'm just. Well, you're not adding up the miles. <laughs> yeah, I'm just throwing money away, I guess. Yeah. You know, I don't know if my mom's driving it right now. But it is what it is. Yeah. Less miles, less money. Yeah. I was thinking about leasing, but yeah, the with the Uber driving, you you, you put a lot of miles on the car. So leasing just doesn't make sense at the end of the day. Yeah. This is Paula next to you. The shock in the back right wheel is so bad. Yeah, I see it. Oh, snap. His tire's going to fall off. Yeah. Oh, Dude, my get your car God. fixed. That's scary. No, I don't like that. <laughs> That's pretty scary. I just saw it, like, bouncing up and down. I was like, um. <laughs> that tire's ready to go. Interesting. <laughs> so good on gas. Like, I fill it up probably once a month. Which is just amazing. Especially now. Yeah, when I had a... I drove a scooter for a long minute. Um, and I'd fill up like every other week. And it was like, you know, <laughs> a couple gallons. Yeah. So it'd be like 10 bucks you know, like, for two weeks. And yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> Mine was probably back when gas was good. Uh, in Tampa, you know, gas was cheaper. Yeah. So really, compared to here, it was like even just coming here in the last like two, three weeks, I, the, I, the price difference is like a dollar, which it's, is insane. Yeah, it's a big price difference. So filling it up back when gas was good was probably like forty-five, and now it's probably like. 
I remember when everything was five dollars. That's jeez, man. I mean, like, yeah. Three bucks and under. That's where I, well, my comfort zone is. Dollar twenty-five. Everything's gone up except for the cost of you know the repair that they want to pay people. But that's going up next year. Really? Yeah, all Florida's gonna be fifteen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw they were changing minimum wage to fifteen, but I thought they were doing it in like increments. So. Nope. <laughs> that just happened tomorrow. Oh really? <laughs> or not tomorrow, but uh, next year, uh, January. Okay. It's gonna put a lot. Be, it's yeah. gonna put a lot of mom and pops out of business. Yeah. Like if they can't. Yeah. Uh, I thought I read it was going up a dollar every year. I don't think so. Just to manage, I, so it doesn't immediately shoot up. But, you know. I think it's gonna be like a big jump next oh. year. That's like, in theory, that would help, but only for a short period of time, because then prices are gonna be reflected in that. Yes. And then you're not. But there's, there's some jobs that are under appreciated and undervalued as far as like security guards should be making a living wage. Security guards shouldn't have three jobs. Oh, for sure. Teachers should make Yeah, a living wage. A living wage. Yeah, I agree. And uh, if they're not getting that, then there's a real problem with our society. Especially if you Oh, I can just dump my kids here okay? yeah. for a day. For, for free. Know, for a year. <laughs> for a year. For many years. Yeah. Just be like, oh, okay. Thank you. For the babysitting. Just <laughs> educating them. Here's your, here's your penny. Right? <laughs> Try to get a part of a gallon of gas. Yeah. Some for the worse, whichever. I just don't want to have to deal with it, which you know, yeah, gonna have to eventually. Eventually, y'all have to deal with it. Yeah, my stepdaughter just got her first job at an arcade. Oh, boy. Yeah, arcade. Yeah, it's still a thing. It's still a thing. That's the <laughs> still a thing. I remember going to arcades. Yeah. Good times were had. Yeah. What was uh, the arcade in Tampa that you guys would hit up? Um, it's called Game Time. It was in Ebor, like downtown Ebor area. Okay. Did they have a golf cart course with it? No. There was, that was another place. I forgot what it's called. Um, Super Fun Town. Yeah, <laughs> it was something stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I remember going to something like that oh in my Tampa. God. I was literally just talking about this place. Um, they had like a golf cart or yeah, like golf, like the, the, the mini golf, golf. Carts, mini golf, like a batting cage. Yeah. Oh my God, what was this place? Uh, wow. <laughs> it wasn't pick. Grand Prix because that was another place. Yeah, Grand Prix Razorama was was my jam back in the day. Boomers? I don't remember. Oh, okay. Because I thought it was like a mom and pop place. Uh, boomers is here. Like, yeah. There's a Boomers near here. It's like almost the same thing. Yeah. No, I. it is the same thing, but it's a different thing. Um, I, I really don't remember. Hey, hey. I'm, I'm it's a very forgettable place. Nothing memorable about it. And your brain automatically, like, you know, gets rid of the garbage that it, you don't think you need to know. I just, I, we were just talking about this because I apparently got lost in there one time and, like, scared the shit out of my mom's friend. Oh, jeez. Because she just could not find me for, like, 30 minutes, but I was. 
in a laser tag thing. Oh, okay. They were like freaking out. I was just like, oh, hey. I'm here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's all good, dude. It's all good. Car has lidar, and for the cruise control, it like keeps a an automatic distance away from the next car. Oh really? But I always get sketched out when there's motorcycles. I'm like, is, is it gonna pick up this motorcycle? Or is it gonna try to plow this person? Yeah, I hate cruise control half the time just because it feels like, you know, it's nice when there's nobody. Yeah. When there's people, it's just like I feel like I can no longer maintain the speed of my car. Yeah. So it just it like sketches me out. So yeah, I just yeah. don't even use it half the time. It's hard to trust. Yeah, I'd rather just feather the gas. Yeah. I bought it. My car will like automatically brake for you. Ugh. You're getting close. And, like it uh it has the lane assist thing so yeah. where if you start going over it kinda yanks you to the side. That scared me when I first had it because it like it's a I just wasn't used first. to it, but it just it would literally just crank the wheel. I'm like, dude. Chill out, car. Stop. <laughs> it's like, obviously, I'd be doing it for a reason. Probably because there was something on the side, or you know, I'm trying to like avoid, get out of the way. Yeah, avoid something. And then it tries to pull me back. I'm like, I. You, you, you want, want me to hit the thing? Like. On well, most cars, you can turn it off. Yeah, you can. I just never did. I got used to it after a while. Well, it's just on our phone. It's just like texting. Just hanging out. Just. just lane. No, just killing. It doesn't know how a merge lane works. I'm just killing. Holding up traffic. Cool. All right. This trip is surprisingly much cheaper than I thought it would be. Yeah. Yeah. Like, considering. Almost to the keys. Yeah. It's like, wow. Like. You're lucky you didn't get like surge prices or something. Yeah, I was waiting for like insane like holiday price or something like stupid. But I don't know. If somebody asked me, hey, will you drive me to the keys? I would have said yeah for 300 bucks. <laughs> for gas. Oh, I'd say 100 an hour there and back, so probably more. You would be a very expensive Uber, sir. 100%. <laughs> they do have uh, this new app called TaskRabbit. And you put in your own prices. Like you say, hey, I'm willing to do wash your dishes for $25 an hour. Oh, wow. Or, so it's just like an odd job. With yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like okay. I'm, willing to, I'm willing to mow your lawn for $30 an hour. And some people would like pay, pay those rates, and I was like, no, I gotta, I gotta look more into this. Yeah, I'm intrigued now. Yeah. I'm kind of in between jobs. Yeah, Task Rabbit. If you're interested, want to jump into the gig economy without too much commitment. Yeah. Exit right. I insist. I applied for a job on the job on the FAU campus. Okay. For the, uh, they have like a gym on campus, and I applied to like work in there. 10 bucks an hour, Keep right. which is insane. It's low. That's, yeah, low. I was like, damn, that is not a lot. But I guess there's a lot of 
it's set to, to be like you make raises and you get raises and you get like maybe new girls. Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know. It's like a it's like a work study thing, so they kind of like also use that as an excuse to pay you less and be like, oh, you know, you can kind of choose your own hours and this and that. My generation, like, you know, when I was growing up, we didn't, we didn't have to deal with shit like that. I mean, you're still having to deal with it now. But, but yeah, like, but, like... Not, it's not really, like, the biggest excuse to use, but... Yeah. You're not wrong. So, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. Off to a slow start. Yeah, let's say that. <laughs> Your generation. Well, hopefully it builds character, and, you know? Yeah. We turn out some good people out here.
the smarter options because it's more available because you're going somewhere. Yeah, it's in high demand too. Yeah. People always want to hear some piano music. But I was doing that in school and I was um, on the rowing team for all of high school. Oh, you got the upper body strength then. It's everywhere body strength. <laughs> <laughs> That's what people think. It's like just your arms and your chest. And it's, yeah, it's growing. It's, it's your legs. Yeah. If anything, it's your legs. And your back. Your arms are probably like the least used thing out of your entire assortment of muscle groups. But I'm just trying to juggle all of that at one time. None of it's not, not possible. A fun, a fun. No, so I, just, I dropped the piano. Picking the string. Alrighty, Arnold. When he says straight, it's almost like he wants to laugh at the end. Yeah, you can hear like that. Yeah, like, like he's shuffle. like, I can't believe they paid me for this. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. I didn't even realize it was him until he said it. Massachusetts. 
so it's like their their season is much different than ours because ours is more like since you know we're here and there's no snow and the frozen lakes and rivers and stuff. Yeah. We can be on the water much longer. Half of their season you're just on the rowing machine. So okay. they're usually way more physically fit. And like I'd like to say faster, but you we're usually way more technically proficient. So it kinda makes up for the fact that we're not as big. But um yeah, it was nice, like this it was fun and then senior year a bunch of stuff happened like right at the end when we were at States and the coach kinda just like he kinda brought all of the upperclassmen aside and was like, look, a lot of these issues were the freshmen, so like I kinda need your guys' help while you're still here to like manage them and like just help me out and like whatever. And then he was like fucking all the juniors like, yeah, we need you to um, like kind of step it up next year and like lead them correctly and like better. And then he kind of got us all together and just basically blamed all of the upperclassmen for his like problems with them. And like he just kind of like threw it all at us. So you guys all, all, the, all the captains on the team, he just kind of like blamed us for his shortcomings. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, all right, buddy. Appreciate it. Yeah, I guess. Like, it's really irritating. Yeah, good leaders always try to take responsibility for... The good. They take responsibility for the good things. Well, they're supposed to take responsibility for, for all the things. All the they things. don't. They, they didn't. He'd brag about us all the time, and then as soon as there was a problem, he'd blame us for it, even though it wasn't our fault. Like, he blamed us for the fact that we were slower than we usually are, even though he's the one that set up the training regiments and, like, how we did stuff. And 90% of what we did was just, like, tech work. It wasn't, like, speed building. So, I don't understand how that's our fault when we have those tech. And then when he asked us for our opinion on, like, how we should change things, Assist. he would, like, sit there and listen to you and say, mm -hmm, and then just completely disregard the words you said. <laughs> like, just not do anything with the information you just gave him. So, it was just, like, kind of like talking to a brick wall. Yeah, that's rough. It, was, it, was, it got irritating after a while. And, you know, I tried my best, like, as a senior to, like, and, like, basically a captain. I was, like, honorary captain, basically, because I did a lot of work. Yeah. And they were, like, oh, um, I just tried to, like, do as much as I could and, like, show, like, all of the newer people, like, how to do these things, because a majority, like, when we travel for our races and stuff, you're taking all the boats apart, loading them up on trailers, and then they have to be strapped down and everything has to be organized and tied down so it doesn't all fall off and blow away and break because all that stuff is like stupid expensive so if it breaks there's a problem and you know I tried to do my best to show them all how to like strap the boats on the trailer and load everything up but it would only be the same like six seniors literally doing everything because they would either not do it or like the other people would just not do it or they just didn't know how and the coaches basically told us that's your job to teach them it's your job to show them how to do everything and i was like it's really not though i'm, I'm here to yeah an athlete. Do it. i'm not here to be a coach <laughs> yeah in other words i would be coach i would not be athlete like, yeah, I, would have, I would have your job and your title but i don't and i don't get paid you do Figure it out, bro. I just gotta get in front of me and go 30. Yes. Awesome. Cool. Truck in the fast lane. Awesome. awesome. Thanks for going 30 in front of me. It's so irritating. In Europe, that's illegal. Well, it is here. Drivers. Uh, yeah. Here, nobody can shift. Europe, that's illegal. You can't be in the fast lane. You can be in the fast lane. Technically, it's illegal. It's illegal here, too, but yeah. they don't enforce it. No. In Europe, you get your license taken away for doing that. Yeah. And it's like, it's so, the, the differences are insane. Like, I've been to Germany a couple of times. Yeah. And, um, you 
to drive real fast on that Euro Autobahn. Autobahn. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like there's a there's a very big misconception about that because the majority of the time in it's this where there's a set speed limit and there's people, but there's very few sections where you can just there, there's like a sign. And it's Go just at like, it. Which one? <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah in Europe, that. getting your driver's license is completely different, and it's like you put in a lot of hours like you know when you get your driver's license they're like oh you have to drive for a certain amount of time with a learner's license or whatever you're little yeah and then like all the other stuff but in Europe you have to have it like monitored like actually tracked and they like you have to drive with another person that's like sitting there recording how you drive and oh like, geez it's ridiculous for like 400 500 hours like it's insane and then you have to go and pay like two thousand dollars to get your driver's license. Two thousand? It's insane. Whoa! I thought our twenty-five dollars driver. Yeah, you thought it was like a lot. Yeah, no, twenty-five bucks. You pay like almost two thousand dollars to get your license. Damn. <laughs> and they're like their police are way more strict. Like if you um just like let's say with merging, like when you're coming onto a highway. You know how people just kind of like keep going and they don't let you in? So in Europe, that is very frowned upon. And if the police see you do that and you don't like zipper where you let one person go and another person go and you just kind of keep like yeah. keeping the flow of traffic or they see a truck over here or you're speeding or anything, they will take your license away so fast. You gotta pay another $2,000 to get it back? You gotta either pay that or you will not get it again. But in Germany, they're so afraid of the police. Like, it's it's insane. Like, people don't even jaywalk. People will not even cross the street where they're not supposed to. And you can drink in public in Germany. You can do whatever you want, basically. Yeah. But people will not break the law. Noticeably. Yeah, part of the law. <laughs> yeah. And I just, like, I don't understand how it's so drastically different from here to there. Because it really shouldn't be. It's like it should just be like human nature to like try think, to coexist, think and like agree with each other and like get along yeah. and not think you're like the center of the world. Because you're not. That arcade was called Celebration Station. Oh, Celebration Station! <laughs> They used to have a Six Flags down in South Florida. I've never That's been to a Six Flags. A water park. Or was it Atlantis? There's the there's I've been to Atlantis before. There was one in um, Bahamas or something. I don't know. Yeah. There's, there's one there. Um, there's Adventure Island in Tampa. There's Aquatica. Uber still tells you that you're speeding. Huh? Uber still tells you that you're speeding. Really? Yeah, like, did you expect me to go on this trip without? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> I'm not doing a speed limit. Like, I won't be home till like, 10. <laughs> exactly, that's insane. I don't... If you're going fast and there's not people around, you're fine. Yeah. Like, that's... I don't know. My rule of thumb is, like, if you're not going at least 10 over, you're not going fast enough. And, I mean, that's just for me driving anyway. It's like, I think that's like just the Florida consensus. Like, if you're not going at least 10 over, yeah, you're not going fast enough. I talked to another Uber driver. He said if he does a speed limit, like, cops will pull you over because they think you're suspicious. Mm -hmm. Like, why aren't you doing 90? Exactly. Exactly. Like, even when I was first driving, I was still trying to, like, get used to knowing and like being able to like manage my speed in like a reasonable fashion I would be going pretty quick and they wouldn't care they wouldn't care the police don't care like as long as you're not like weaving cars you're fine yeah as long as you're not like riding people you're fine as long as you're not acting like it's fast and the furious exactly. out here exactly as long as you're not like racing people you're good 
I used to have to, we would always have races in Sarasota, so driving from Sarasota to Tampa is like probably 45 minutes to, an, uh, I'd say an hour to an hour and a half. I could do that drive because I would leave at 5 in the morning and there's no cars on the road. I could do that drive in 45 minutes. Damn. That's fast, dude. <laughs> you, I, you could go 100 the whole way and not see another car. Oh, that's awesome. But then driving back sucked because all the people were going back home and it was awful. So it was either dead stop or stop and go. Like that. Like that's what gets you pulled over. Going over the white lines. Over the lines and just not using a signal and just not like giving no, a fuck about. No, like complete disregard for anybody else. Yeah, no fucks given. Yeah, I don't like that. That like that really bothers me. Just because like, you know, I drive fast but I'm still like conscious of the other people around me. Yeah. I still think like, oh, there's other people here. I should uh think before I do things. Drive safely. I drive fast, but I am safe. My wife thinks I drive slow, but <laughs> she drives crazy as fuck. <laughs> yeah, like I know a lot of people that will like, they'll just drive like 85, 90 at any given time. I'm like, okay, that's a little fast. Like, what are you talking about? You're not on like the turnpike. You're on 441. Yeah, Calm down, like, dude. They, they call me like a grandpa, and I'm like, sorry, I don't have a death wish. <laughs> right. My car doesn't go that fast. It's literally a four cylinder. Like, it's a four cylinder, like compact SUV. It doesn't go quick. Oh, well, I got, I got the sports edition this time, and she oh, goes yeah. pretty quick. Yeah. I mean, my car will pick up, like, you yeah. know, it'll go eventually. Just. It won't. I'm not trying to ever turn that button on though because oh, it's, like mine, just mine a gas killer. Buttons. Yeah, mine has like a sport button and it'll redline so fast if you turn that button on and it just sucks down your gas. Yeah, I can watch it like <laughs> just, you as you it, accelerate. It's like it's your speedometer, it's just like <laughs> <laughs> We might have to get gas. That's fine. Okay, I'll just let you know. Uh, if you ever want to stop let me know if you gotta use the bathroom or anything. I'll, I'll make a pit stop. I'm not gonna get you any, you know, uh, I don't have any peanuts or anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, the Charger's a good addition. This is, this is great. Yeah. yeah, my car was definitely not my first choice of vehicle. This is definitely not mine. I am not a red car kind of guy. Oh yeah, mine's black, but you know, black car in Florida. This is what they had on the lot got the it. day I got it. Like, I wanted the hybrid, they said that would take a year of oh, wait time. Oh, and I was like, well, I don't really have a year. I need a car. <laughs> yeah, I need a car now, my old car is crapping out on me. Yeah. I was looking at used cars too, because like, you know, I had that mentality of like, I'm not going to get something nice, I'm going to get a piece of so yeah. I like, might as well get what I want, being a piece of garbage. Yeah. And you know, I bring it up to my mom, and she'd be like, no, like that, no. And I'm like, okay, and what should I be looking at? And she was like, what about a pickup truck? And I was like, okay, so I will be like every other white teenager in Tampa, yep. with either a 4x4 <laughs> Wrangler or a pickup truck. Like, no thank you. A Ford F1. I'm, I'm really what? embracing the Florida stereotype right now. <laughs> Ford F-150. I hate that. That is ginormous. <laughs> it's it's too big. It is big. I, I don't like new pickup trucks because they're just giant. I like, if I were to get a pickup truck, it would be like one of the two or Tacomas or like an old Ford Ranger that is obviously small. Yeah, I don't know why they have to be full, like double seats they, now. They get double cab. They yeah. don't need to be. They don't need to be. They A lot of them are buses. though. They're just giant. And half of them don't even fit in the lane. If you have a dually now, they don't fit in the lanes. No, the they don't. Especially in smaller lanes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, real tough time getting around. Yeah, I just, I hate pickup trucks. So I was like, yeah, that's off the table. I like plants and gardening, so I, I always get a hatchback yeah, so I, I can know. fit plants in the back. Mm -hmm. I thought of, I like the new Corolla. Corolla hatch. 
that like just came out recently. This is the new Corolla. Oh, really? Yeah. It's the new Corolla. Yeah, I like the, I like the, like the, the kind of sporty one. Yeah. They, they look nice. That's the thing about Toyota, though, they'll last you forever. Exactly. Like, I got a Ford, and it, that crapped out on me once I hit 100,000 miles. I was like, jeez, Louise. Yeah, my car, I got my car when it had 50 miles. So it was like... Almost due. Basically. Yeah. The 50 miles were from my grandparents going to pick it up in the lot, like, from a dealership yeah. and bring it to their house. Yeah, brand new. And they leased it, like, brand new car. I'm like, dude, why, why, why do that? spending money, and like I'm spending money on something I don't need, like I don't need a brand new car, and they were like, oh, you know, safety, and I was like, wow. yeah, but like, expensive. Yeah, you can get a used car, and still be safe. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I said, I was like, I could have had the car I wanted for half the price of this, Yeah. and as soon as you rolled that bad boy off the lot, you know, appreciates it. You gotta give it back in three years or whatever the the term is for. Projected, they are they said, look, thirty six thousand miles is what you're gonna bring it back and do like thirty eight or something. And I was like, okay. And I've only put like fourteen thousand on it, and I've had it for oh, you barely use this thing. I've yeah. had it for like a year and a half. You barely use that car. I mean, I use that car every day to get to school and home. Yeah. Like, I would put most of my miles on it just going to where I practiced for rowing. So I had to hop on uh, cross town and go and back. You know, so I'd drive to um, like where was it? Um, As it reported ahead, get down. Uh, uh, hey, that's it. Beach, we go to Apollo Beach and like. Especially after I graduated, oh my god. Like, What's the best beaches in Tampa? Um, Madeira. Okay. <laughs> Madeira, St. Pete. My Madeira wife likes right. all that white white sand beach mm -hmm. that they have like in Central Florida. Um, what is it called? Uh, I forgot the name of it, but they got like these white sand beaches that uh, are pretty Siesta cool. Key, Pasa Grove. Yep. Pasa yeah. Grove is nice. Siesta Key. have that uh, manatee like like uh, it's not like a oh the nature like replay yeah, yeah the replay yeah the Clearwater Marine Aquarium yeah and I made a movie about that because we had a couple of movies we had the Dolphin Tail movies those are all from there? yeah oh cool oh what are these cops want? what are they doing? Like a restaurant around there that had like mermaids. Um, or am I thinking about a different place? Yeah, you might be, I don't know. Yeah. I remember like being around there and like going to some kind of restaurant slash ocean thing where they had like mer pretend mermaids like waving at you. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I know what I know what you're talking about. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of beaches. Like, you know. 
Yeah, it's not nothing to do with Florida in general. It's all over Florida. It's wet, water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snake. Swamp. Swamp horse. Swamp. Yep. I'd, I'd never seen an iguana before coming here. Oh, no? Never. Yeah, they're all over. They're not Central Florida things. Yeah, so. they're all over the place. It's too cold in Central Florida for yeah. The winters get a little too cold. It's, it's, it's really not that cold there. It's like the same. But here's the thing, when when it does get cold... Oh, they be gone. Yeah. <laughs> they fall out of the trees when it hits 50 here. Really? Yeah, they, they like keel over and you think they're dead, but they're just like just frozen. frozen. Yeah. I mean, I, I've gone to Key West before, so I've seen... Well, I might have seen them there, but like not as many. Yeah, they, as they are their population has boomed. Yeah. They don't have any natural predators out here, so... They're just are they flourishing. Are they invasive? No, they're not invasive. I don't think so. I yeah. think Kawada's well, been here as long as I've been here. <laughs> yeah. I remember seeing snakes before, but like the, the, I, the pythons and stuff. I do know that their population has boomed, though, mm -hmm. in the last 10 years or so. Yeah, they're trying to get rid of the snakes. They, they got it. Still, yeah. I'm, they're like, yo, if you kill one, we'll give you money. Yeah, they literally, yeah, they used to pay you, like, every foot of snake you yeah, got. Yeah, they They'd give you, like, 10 or 15 bucks or something. Yeah. Which is not a bad deal. Well, nowadays, like, you gotta consider gas. And yeah, now, now, it's, now it's a bad deal. Yeah. <laughs> Before, when gas was two bucks a gallon, sure, I'll do yeah. that all day. to try to 
keep slavery around for a few more years than it than it should have. It just I don't think it I think it should be changed. Yeah. Just because I I think I think we do need an overhaul of the whole damn thing. Yeah. Because how many people are they left for like four hundred and thirty something? Yeah. Are really picking. Fifty six. That's a really small number to be picking the president. Exactly. But it's it's weird because like I mean it's all based on population too, which like doesn't make sense. Yeah. It should be an even amount of people. Yeah, just one it, boat, yeah. one one uh. One per state. Yeah. Like that that way your vote counts. Exactly. That and they should also do um like a rank choice voting where you can vote for this is my first pick, my second pick, and my third pick. That way, if you really don't like somebody, you know... It shouldn't be like a popularity contest, yeah. which the last elections have been. Yeah. And I, just, I hate politics in general because I think they're stupid. They're very stupid. It's just, I don't... I, it's just irritating that, like, two groups of people... Like, in the long run, this sounds weird, but they both want the same thing. They both want America to be good. They just want to have a unified and, like solid country. Yeah. But they just want to go about it in different ways that the other side just does not agree with. And, like, I'm I'm not a Democrat or a Republican. I'm kind of, like... Independent? In, yeah, I'd, I'd say independent just because I have no... Ties either way? Yeah. Just because I can see the flaws in both. Like, yeah. there's, there's going to be flaws in both parties, obviously, and the fact that they can't agree with each other at all. Like, I, I just don't like that there's no like meat in the middle it's just no on my voters registration it says that i'm a communist huh. but i only put that because my friend told me that they won't call for you for jury duty if it says that you're a communist on your voter registration i like called you for jury duty never <laughs> never huh. and i'm 51 years old so if they would have called me i'm sure they would have called me by now I know people that had just registered to vote were already getting called for jury duty. But I was like... Don't put that D or R on there. Yeah, just like... <laughs> They'll ring you up real quick. Whoa. <laughs> like, that's insane. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to work for free, especially for jury duty. <laughs> no, thank you. Do my civic duty by voting and <laughs> paying my taxes. Yeah.
I went to a um, Netting Company concert like a month ago. Oh, right. That was very fun. That was very enjoyable. The last concert I went to was Citizen Cope. Yeah, you, you, you've heard the song. You've been in like car commercials yeah, and all kinds of stuff, but I'm not gonna sing it. Anymore. I've been to three concerts in my life, and two of them were Van Halen concerts. Nice. Yeah, one with Eddie, and then one without Eddie. Like after he died, yeah, he was still doing it with some other people. I don't know what the deal was. And then a Dead and Company concert, and my uncle. When I went to New York to go visit my family, they were like, oh. Um, Get down! You want to go to this concert? And I was like, sure, sure, I don't care. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, uh, the lead guy just died recently, but Sean Mayer's coming in. I was like, oh, I know who that is. Like, yeah, it's John Mayer. <laughs> Everybody knows who that is. Yeah, everyone knows who John Mayer is. I was like, okay, like, you know, you had me at a concert. That sounds fun. <laughs> no, it was just, it was interesting. Like, going there was uh, the Mets at City Field. Okay. Even just walking in, there was the giant cans of nitrous in the balloon. Oh, I was geez. like, this is not something I've seen outside of college before. And he was like, yeah, that's just this crowd, I guess. And I was like, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, I got, just, like, the people watching there was amazing. I got uh, people in upstate New York. They have like a little apple farm. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, a little apple orchard up there. My grandparents used to live on an orange grove. So slow. A drastic difference. <laughs> like, why does it feel so slow? <laughs> what are we doing? 30? No, we're just doing 60. <laughs> it just felt really slow. Yeah. I don't know. This guy just wanted a lot of the speed limits. Jeez. Sometimes I'm down with that, but not when I got two more hours to go. <laughs> exactly.
this doesn't even do that anymore. Like warn you about the speed limit. Yeah. Uber wants you to drive safely. I, I get that, but like, I know what I'm doing here. Yeah. We got a lot of road out here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I thought 95 meant I could go 95. Yeah, what are you talking about? I think I should be doing 60. It's 95 all over the place over here. <laughs> uh, playing dumb never, never works out. <laughs> Cops are more likely to give you a ticket. <laughs> Yeah. Let's see how that goes when I there. Not fun. Yeah. Don't recommend. I don't even mess around with the Spotify's and I just downloaded a couple like really long songs. <laughs> Firefighter is like a fire or a fire inspector, and he had a little bit of road rage and decided to shoot at the driver that was going by him. What? Yeah, so he pulls out his gun and starts firing, and he realized he messed up as soon as he like pulled the second shot because his face was like, "Oh man, did I really just do that?" So he shot up his his own damn car. And now he's going to jail for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> and his own dash cam ratted him out. <laughs> that's, that's insane. Yeah. That's why, like, I'm honestly, like, if people do something stupid when they're driving, like, I'm going to tell you that you did something stupid, but, like, is it really worth me dying over? No. Probably not. No, so, not at all. Like, I, there, I, there's, like, that little bit of, like, restraint in me that's like, don't do that. Yeah. Say anything, but there's also people who are just so like blatantly stupid that it's just irritating. It's hard. It's hard to bite your tongue when they're like first day driving. <laughs> yeah. This guy cut my mom off one time when we were driving, and he was like putting his hand in the thing, like trying to like oh 
get behind me, whatever, like, saying all this stuff, and they pulled up next to him at the next light, and I was like, can I please roll the window down? Like, can I please roll the window down? You never let me say anything, can I please just do it once? And I did, and she was like, you know what, yeah, go Go, ahead. go, go for it. Like, go see what happens, and I was like, got it. So I rolled down the window, and I'm like, hey, and I start yelling at him. And he rolls down the window and he starts trying to say a bunch of stuff to me. And I was like, shut the fuck up, you mongoloid. Like, I don't want to, like, freaking chocolate-eyed guy. Like, I don't want to hear anything come out of your mouth. How are you so unbelievably disrespectful to somebody? Like, you cut someone off and then you're, like, throwing, you know, with your fingers out at them and this and that. And he's like, and I was like, don't even say anything. Like, yeah, I, I don't even want to hear it. It's just, like... He was so like taken aback that I had called him an insult that he had probably never heard before. Mongoloid, huh? That was a rough one. Don't call Chinese people mongoloids, yeah. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> like, I might get in trouble that Yeah. Time. At the time, wasn't really thinking that one through, I guess. Kind <laughs> of hit him with the troglodyte, which is just, you know, Cape Dweller. Cape Dweller's okay. Yeah. We were all Cape Dwellers at one point, exactly. right? Exactly. Glorifying the end Almost to the keys here. Actually, never driven to the keys. Oh, that's a fun trip. Yeah. It's a fun trip. We're in the south of South Miami, you can go right now. So we're about to hit the keys. I went to um, whatever, whatever that point is, like the southern point. Oh, yeah? I've been there once. Yeah, that's fun. They got a lot of bars over there and whatnot, but you can't even drink, so. I mean,. Wow, well, legally. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that you can't put a beer yeah, bottle next yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's physically possible. Yeah. Right. Let me see. What do we got? 79 miles. Yeah, we'll make it. Oh, need to get gas. <sighs> yeah, I went to New Orleans. That was. It was fun, but it what, also kind of sucked. At what time did you go? Uh, was it like off season or? It was last year in like Mardi Gras or no? It was probably September. Okay, so, so that yeah, that's off season. Yeah. So, so it's a little bit more chill. I mean, there was still stuff going on. Like, yeah. We're still out and about doing stuff. Yeah, it's, then, like, it's always crazy, like downtown, mm -hmm. like. And it's I was like, good. okay, this is cool, but I try and go into all these places, and they're like, are you 21? And they're like, uh, no, it's a restaurant. They're like, too bad. Get I out. Thought, and I'm like, I, I, and I'm like, I, I can't even eat. Like, did they change the legal drinking age? Because it used to be 19. Whoa, hang on, we won. What? Yeah, the legal drinking age used to be 19 in Louisiana. Really? But maybe they've changed it since no, I they left? Won't even, they won't even let you in. Oh, jeez. So, like, I try and go into these places, and they're like, no, you can't even come in here. Oh, jeez. So I'd have yeah. to, like, sit on the curb. So, yeah, they did change it. Wow. It's like, dude. They held on to that for forever. Like, the roads were so bad because they didn't get any funding. Because they wanted to keep the legal drinking age 19. I the guess roads are bad here too, and the legal drinking age is 21. So what does that have to say? Yeah, <laughs> we need more funding. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you can't even do anything. Being 18 means nothing anymore. Yeah. Well, you can join the military. Yeah, I can. I can get drafted and go die. Yeah. Yeah. That's something you can do. I can go, I can go shoot. <laughs> Can't, can't, they don't need to be shot. But you can't legally get, I can, own I can a... I get blown up in some faraway country. Yeah, but you can't legally own I a handgun. I taxes. I can't own a handgun. Can't drink. Can't smoke. Uh, can't rent a car. Are we merging? I don't even see the merge. Alright. Whatever road. Interesting. Yeah, I can do everything for the federal government, but I yeah. can't do anything for yourself, yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Actually, with parent consent, you can join the military when you're 16. Yeah. Which is crazy yeah. to me. Yeah. Like, we, we're not that hard up for... <laughs> like, most of it's automated anyways. We don't even, like, I don't know. The military now is just like, you go if you want. You don't even have to, like... Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're not at a lack of... 
volunteers. Yeah, most of the combat is done through yeah, drones. Digital. So if you're a drone pilot, you're in high demand. Yeah, but it's just cyber warfare more than anything. It's not even like yeah. actual boots on the ground combat. It's just like you blowing somebody up from Remotely, a mile from, in the air. From Kansas yeah. in like some bunker somewhere. Yeah, you know, you're flying a little remote control toy plane that costs $20 million for yeah. some reason. Oh, for good reason. Yeah, <laughs> there's, I mean, there's a reason. There's reasons for that. Because they can fly like for a or long, a, yeah, <laughs> for long periods of time and loiter around. Yeah. Do whatever. You got all those cameras on them. Mm -hmm. No, it's just like spy war. It's not even like yeah. actual So it's an arms race now. It's like whoever can build the best robot. Who has the newest jet? Yep. Who has the newest tank? Who has the, the newest unmanned aerial vehicle or any vehicle? Unmanned uh, submarine. Yeah. China has like a nuclear submarine that's unmanned that can like drive forever. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I was like reading about it. I was like, man, this thing sounds pretty crazy. Yeah, Russia just made a new fighter jet that looks. Very much like, I don't know if you know anything about like stuff like that. No, nah, I don't really. So, ignorant when it comes to. Yeah, there's um, this jet that the Americans have, it's called an F 35. Okay. And there was a prototype when those two were going into like consideration to be made. There was, it's like a Y 32, because they were both like experimental, or like X 32 or something, and X 35. And. The new Russian thing looks surprisingly similar to the concept of the thing that we didn't use. Oh, uh, they got the leftover it one. almost identical. And I saw it and I was like, oh my god, it's like the same thing. They stole the blueprint. I, they, I mean, maybe, but um, I don't know. Conspiracies are interesting. Do I believe them? Probably not. Yeah. If they can be proven, then that I usually Exactly. Like if there's actual evidence, I'll believe it. Maybe. Or I'll consider it. The craziest conspiracy I I uh, adopted was that we never really landed on the moon. I could see that, but I also just... It's like, been, like, drained into my head that... Or, like, drilled into my head that, like, we have. So, I, like, like, I want to see on a telescope... All the stuff that we left on the moon. Yeah. Like if they can show me a picture of that, I'll be like, oh, they were, they were talking about restarting that program. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Elon, 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 Elon Musk is like, oh, I, I have interest to go to the moon. Yeah. And even like Buzz Aldrin and Elon were like, dude, no. <laughs> they were like, don't go back there. No, they were they were telling him like, just don't. Just don't do it. That like rushed his dreams apparently, but he was also like, ah, fuck you. Like, I'm gonna do what I want. Right. Like, I'm a, I'm a literal trillionaire. I can do whatever I want. Right. Oh man, that's a long bike ride, dude. Ugh. Oh my goodness. I could not imagine. <laughs> Especially at night. He's lucky that he got back before nightfall. Because these roads, these roads aren't lit. This is dark as crap at night time. I don't like that. That's like, um, the turnpike. Like, you're on the turnpike and it's dark. Like yeah, it's in not some areas. It's lit, but it's like, it's just like this. Yeah, we, we, soon we'll get over to the water. The water part. Yeah, and it'll just be nothing but water. I'm used to Tampa where there's like, bridges that get you to all of, the, mm -hmm. all of the beaches and stuff, and then there's the Skyway eventually, but that's cool. I think the Skyway is the coolest thing I've ever done. And, you know, I've been on the Washington Bridge and the Brooklyn Bridge. All of those, but those oh. don't count. Like, going into Long Island just sucks. Like, going into Manhattan sucks, so, like, don't. Driving in New York City is, like, the worst thing ever. I've never had, I drove once actually, and I was on a trip to Canada, we went to Canada for 
during the winter just to see how cold it was. And that was of cool. all of the places that I've been, I've never been to Canada. I've been to fake Mexico. I went to Cozumel, which is like not real Mexico. It's like little island Mexico. There's only like three spots in Canada that you ever have to visit. Yeah. Get down. And once you've done that, you're like, oh, well, I'm, I'm going to Canada. I'm, 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 Sounds like you're well traveled. I mean, yeah, but it's also like when you think about it, all these places are like right next to each other. So when you go, you start in one place. And yeah, you, you would go to a train. Our first, our first two trips, you either you take a train or you drive. Yeah. Everywhere. So it sounds like a lot, but like in reality, it's they're really next door neighbors. Not as much. Yeah. It's like less than driving out of Florida. Yeah, it <laughs> literally is. It, it really is. Yeah, I know. Good like, days. Schnitzels and pierogies. Pierogies are so good. <laughs> my like half of my family is like they're from uh, like they're of Polish descent. So like my grandparents knew how to make pierogies. Like, yeah, amazing. the way they the way the Polish make it are like oh bomb. God. And it's like you know you think cabbage and you're like ew, but like that, but yeah, good. yeah. Salt and pepper. Oh my. Are you into baking pierogies or boiling pierogies? Baked. Baked? Alrighty. Alrighty. I've had them boiled a couple times. They're pretty good too. Yeah. I mean, I've had them both ways, like, at least to my knowledge. I have. But I think baking just because like, they get a little bit more crispy and you get like, yeah. more of the flavor. Like, you get less of the cabbage flavor and more of like, everything else. Like, the seasoning. It's just like my favorite, like the thin, thin pizza is like always good. So just cheese? You gotta do pepperoni? It like if there's a place, there's a place from my house called Cappy's. And they make like thin New York pizza. Yeah. yeah. But they're, it's either thin New York pizza or like deep dish. Okay. So deep dish, not my favorite because if you do it wrong, it's like eating soup. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> like, dude, this is not interesting at all. Yeah. But like thin be... pizza, like at Cappy's, because they have like, just the way they do it is. Cappy's it's like, in Boca? No, it's in Tampa. Okay. But um they like season their cheese really well and they do all this stuff, it's all handmade, it's really good. Have you so, found a place in Boca yet or with, 
not with like amazing views. It was a pretty good place right next to my house, but it's like, or, like mediocre at best. It's like it's pretty old to me. Okay. It's nothing great. But the cappies is like the best pizza I've ever had. But I usually just get cheese. Yeah. Because if, like as soon as you start piling more stuff on, it gets super greasy and it's like you get soggy if you add too many vegetables. Like, yeah. I do like Olives. mushrooms. Yeah, I get weird with my pizzas because uh, I usually make it homemade. And, like I'll, I'll uh, make the pizza at home with the little pizza stones, and I'll do like spam, pineapple. Oh, you're going like Hawaiian. Yeah, I get real weird with it. <laughs> That's interesting. And then I'll do like sun-dried tomatoes underneath. So like where the sauce is. Throw some garlic in there. Oh, it sounds so good. <laughs> yeah. I just bought a cast iron skillet. Nice. Of, like, Those will last you forever, dude. Yeah. But, um, and if you know. ever need like a weapon to defend yourself oh, with, that will kill somebody <laughs> so fast. It's, it's like, like one hit. Ass roommate, <laughs> the first time, because I would always do the dishes. The first time he did the dishes, he put the cast iron skillet in the washer, oh, in the dishwasher, I'm like, oh, oh don't do that, that one's all rusty, yeah. not like, not like super rusty, but there's yeah. like obvious like, but yeah, it's not supposed to go, now. it's not supposed to go there, yeah, and I'm like, dude, have you never done dishes, and he was like, nope, not really, <laughs> he had to ask me, all right, so I bought like communal stuff for all of us, there's three of us, so oh, I bought geez. like dryer sheets and like cheap laundry detergent, like, yeah, like those, necessities. Like, scentsy things yeah. and, like, all this other stuff. And he comes into my room. Because I bought Tide Pods for myself just because I wanted the Tide convenience pods. of Tide Pods. Yeah. But I had never used them before in my life because I'm just used to, like, liquid detergent liquid. and whatever. Sure. And he comes into the room and is like, hey, can I borrow a Tide Pod? I'm like, dude, there's, like, a whole thing of liquid laundry detergent out there. And he's like, I don't know how to use that. I'm like, you are 21 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Never used liquid laundry detergent. He was like, yeah, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. But they're both from Wellington. Like they've been there forever, and you know their families are very well off. So I don't think they've ever seen a had to do anything like that. No, probably not. You know, at least to my knowledge, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah. But I was like, okay, I guess I'm gonna teach a literal legal adult how to do laundry, which I'm not like, you know, I'm not trying to like bust his balls or anything. Yeah, but uh, yeah, with my kid, I'm I'm trying to teach him how to do all the things. Just cause like I, there was it was me and my mom, so like I had to do these things or they wouldn't get done. Yeah. And she just was like, once I probably turned ten or twelve, she was like, all right, you're gonna start doing, right, you're gonna start doing things. Chores. I'm not <laughs> you gotta do the chores, bro. You're old enough. You're doing them, and I was like, okay. So I learned how to do dishes. I learned how to do laundry. Yeah. Vacuum, mop, sweep. Everything, mow the lawn, yeah. all this stuff I learned how to do. Well, I got seven right now, uh, and I just—he's uh, a little, he's yeah. a little young. <laughs> yeah, so I got him doing little things like picking up your own laundry. Yeah, that's a step. Uh, make your bed. Mm -hmm. Nothing too, too, too extreme. But soon, soon I'll, I'll get him doing more and more. If I have him on dishwasher duty pretty soon. <laughs> As long as he understands the non learn on toy. Very big one. <laughs> yeah. You gotta get past that point where yeah. you're like, no, oh, nice! He's like, no, nice, sharp. No, yeah. oh, owie! <laughs> yeah, I've cut myself a few too many times to know that. Well, I was a pizza chef wow. for, for many years. Fingers. Oh my god. And I've burnt myself so many times oh, on that hot oven. Yeah, like when I first started, like my mom would always cook, like she'd always cook like fish and chicken and pork and like literally everything. She'd make like home cooked meals like all the time. Yeah. And then she started getting a little lazy with it, so she kind of stopped. But, you know, I was like, you know, I'm going to college soon and I'm going to be on the budget, so I should probably learn how to do this. She was like, yeah. So whenever I first started learning how to cook, like, well, that wasn't like pancakes and eggs and like whatever. Yeah. 
I burnt myself so many times, and I was just like, holy shit, this hurts. Yeah, it's kind of, oil burns. kind of a rite of passage yeah, for any cook out like, there. Yeah, now it really doesn't even phase me half the time anymore. Like, it's not that bad. I've broken it up on my fingers and toes. I broke my nose. I've oh, cut my hands open. I remember I was trimming a tree. Like, my grandma had this tree in her yard. That was more of like a bush, but it was just a very big bush that I called a tree. Yeah. But it would attract honeybees. Oh, jeez. And they were just everywhere, and as soon as you walked outside, they would feel threatened by you, and they'd come and sting you. Oh, jeez. So she was like, hey, can you cut that down? And I was probably 13, and I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. And she gave me a little, like, handsaw, and was like, go ahead. Go, go ahead. And I was like, okay. So I'm just trimming the branches off, and then it starts to rain, and I was just like, Screw it, I'll keep going, because it's not like dark, thundery, lightning-y rain, it's just rain. So I'm going, I'm going, and then um, the saw blade slipped on the wet branch and hit my hand, and I didn't notice, so I'm just, you know, I was like, eh, okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, I cut the thing off, cut the tree down. I go inside, and... She was like, what's wrong with your hand? And I look at my hand, and my whole hand is red. I'm like, dude, what is that? And I have <laughs> cut, like, probably a quarter of an inch into my hand. Like, just, Jeez. Uh, didn't even know. Didn't uh, feel it. I was just like, oh, cool. Not and cool. she was, like, freaking out. And I was like, it's, it, it's not that bad. And I just wrapped it up. Did you get stitches? I got, did the... the Oh, uh, the little uh, butterfly band aid. It was like super glue. It was like. Here, here, uh, here's some of my experimental noise music. I'll give you a listen to a little bit, a sample. So it's literally just noise. I would usually take the toys apart and circuit bend them, mess with the wires around, make them sound different. But this one is mostly uh, like bad recordings on top of other bad recordings. Yeah, it sounds like a bass almost. Like... Yeah. Alright, I'm saying I hear like the distortion. Yeah. That's all intentional, bad sounding. <laughs> like it almost sounds like a cello. Like I want to say it sounds like a cello. Almost, like, just because of the distortion yeah. so so much. And it just sounds like the phone. Yeah. My noise oh, project was called Flaudio. Largo that we're gonna be passing here. This really reminds me of like the Panhandle beaches too. Yep. It's like it's so similar. Such the same place. Yeah. <laughs> just different locations. I, I swear Florida's just all the same place. Yeah. yeah. You've seen one part, you've probably you've seen, seen most seen of it. All of it. <laughs> Flat, if, if you've swampy. Seen, yeah, like if you if you've seen oh, you've the water there. regions with the, the, the mangroves and stuff, yeah. you've seen all of the coastal. <laughs> yeah, it's like ninety percent of Florida. You've seen the beach, you've seen the beaches, and if you've seen like Central Florida Farm, that's it. You've seen everything. You got it's it. All. Like there's no height deviation. Like it's yeah, there's no climate de deviations. It's so nope. it's just Florida. Love it or leave it. Those are pretty cool houseboats. Yeah. Well, you know, very small though. Yeah, it's a little cramped. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if those are just for fishing. Probably. This probably like a... Crab or a lobster crab. Yeah. It could be lobster. No, it's not. Yeah, it could be lobster. Yeah. I got into fishing when I was little. Like, I'd always go out with my grandparents and go fishing. And then... It's a good skill to know. Yeah. They get old, so. Let's go 
out as much anymore. I've seen so many like alligator like fails, like oh, people that's pulling up. Insane. <laughs> that that honestly scares me because I've never had to deal with that. Oh man, I've seen so many of those. I've had, at the worst, I've had like sharks a couple times, which were just like okay. You like, just tugged on the line yeah, and it's just, gone. Yeah, you know they tear the line in half and you're gone. Um, the alligator, he wants to like, find out what what's pulling me around. Yeah, it's like, what is tugging me? Can I eat it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, I don't know. This is the most, like, inconvenient things I had were, like, the catfish, which were, like, not horrible, but, like, saltwater catfish are really irritating. And, good um, eat, though. Good eating. If yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they taste good. If you, you know. yeah, it's it's not like a blue cat where they're ginormous and you got to drain them out. Because that's, like, with the big, like... Louisiana, when you get the big catfish, like you have to bleed them, or they will taste the, like metal and dirt. And it's just not good. But yeah, like the little ones are fine. Uh, stingrays, I always catch those. Yeah. Which are very irritating. To, uh, get on because they just they obviously don't chew anything. They just like swallow it whole. Yeah, they just suck up the fly, and you're like, oh well, that's in you now. Come on. Yeah. Hopefully that goes out of you, but who knows? Like, I, I can't reach in there and get it, or you're going to whip around and stab me, so... I watched uh, Naked and Afraid. It's one of my uh, guilty pleasures. Yeah, that show's cool. And uh, they're constantly, like, depending on where they are, they'll catch those stingrays and eat them. <laughs> oh, yo. I've, I've eaten stingray once. Yeah? How no. was it? Nothing special. Okay. It's, it's really not that good. Well, I guess if you're starving. It's good if you're hungry. <laughs> if you're starving to death, then yeah, they, they, they love it. They're like, oh man, food? We took, um, my friends live right out, like, out of their neighborhood. There's, uh, they have kayaks, so we took kayaks to these little islands. You could, like, you could just go over there, and they were, like, they were on the map, obviously, but, like, people just didn't go there, ever. Yeah. So you could kind of, like, use them as your own little, like, spot. We went out there, and we were out there for like a week, and we would just like catch stuff off the water, and we could eat it, we brought like water and like other drinks, and basic shelter necessities, firewood, stuff like that, we just stayed out there for like a week, it was really nice. That's awesome. Commune with nature, yeah. you will. The only problem was mosquitoes, mosquitoes are horrible. Yeah, all Florida, mosquitoes are... Real terrorists out here. That's so weird, man. It's like it shows me the location, but it won't give me a room. Yeah, even online, it still has like a little line saying, "Oh, here, Yeah. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen that in New York before either. But I've also never been this far in New York. Uh, I guess I can't plan really long trips, but I planned my trip. But I planned my trip to Mar a Lago. Pretty fine. Yeah, this is just so out of the blue. I was thinking, like, oh. What are you doing over here? My, like, um. It's like my mom's business partner's family, his brother and his wife. Yeah. And his daughter and all their family are here. And they were like, oh, you know. Come on, have them come by. They're <laughs> over here. They live in West Palm, so I was thinking, oh, Maybe. I should go to West Palm, and I call them, and they're like, oh, no, we're, we're in Marathon, I'm like, okay, and they're like, did you come, and I was like, I don't have a car, and they were like, oh, we'll Oop. send you money for an Uber, and I was like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> alright, it's like, okay, but like, it, it, ugh, it's like, I feel so, blah, like, I was just waiting for nobody to, like, respond to it. Oh. I, don't, I don't know if it shows you, like, distance when you're, like, looking at them. It does now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I knew I was getting into it. Okay. Just making sure. Like, I was going to, like, before, start this off with, like, before, in advance. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, before they didn't show you anything. But uh. now, now they show you where you're going, how much it's going to pay, and your rating. So that's good things to know. Like, before the you start the trip. ratings? Yes. Really? What's mine? Did not check. Oh, okay. <laughs> I 
but uh, that's the least important thing to yeah. a driver. Unless you see a one star. Then, yeah, then they're probably pretty bad. Yeah, then you don't want to pick them up. Yeah, so I've had a lot of Ubers that are just like silent, so... I like those Ubers. Like, those are nice ones. Like, if you don't feel like talking. Yeah. But they can be awkward. It's so awkward. Like, I don't know, <laughs> like, you know, like, the, just even like a 10 minute drive is just like... Like, this is just taking forever. That's why I was like... I saw on your thing, it was like... Um, like likes to talk or like is friendly to chat with or whatever. And I'm like, yes, like perfect. Like I was like begging that I would get someone that would like like to have. Yeah, my my Uber score is super low. Really? Yeah, compared to my Lyft score. Oh, I don't. I, In comparison. I like only use Uber, not Lyft. Yeah, my Uber score is like four point seven. And when I first started Ubering, I would pick up any ride. Oh. Like just pick up. Uh, just, Yo, let's go, let's go. But picking up these shared rides or Uber pools oh, that, oh, that. was such a mistake because it lowered my score so much. Why like, people complain? Like, yeah, oh, I had an uncomfortable trip. Like, of course you had an uncomfortable sorry, trip. I had to pick up four. Option, I had like, to pick up four different people, and nobody knew each other. And it, yeah, it's uncomfortable. Yeah, and I was like, oh. Yourself? Did you not choose that yourself? Like, whose fault is that? Not mine. Like. Yeah. Now, now I'm more seasoned and more experienced. Yeah. I don't. I don't even turn that part of the app on. Yeah. I, don't know, I thought about getting an Uber like when I first got my driver's license, but obviously I couldn't have done it then. Yeah. But, you can do it now though. Yeah. But uh, you gotta be safe though. Also, like, there's some sketchy people out yeah, here. Yeah. That's why I was like, I don't trust it. Like, unless I had like some kind of like a protection. Well, this camera is not going to do me any good if, you know, someone's like, yeah, stabbing, stabbing me or something. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, like, I'd like to have something, but, like, obviously, I'm 18, so I can't, so... Yeah. Well, I've never come across a situation where I felt, like, super in danger. Yeah. But I'm also a male, so it's different it for, gets, yeah. for me. Yeah. Um, I'm not afraid of getting raped or exactly. anything like that. Exactly. Like it's, I guess. I wouldn't let my stepdaughter sense, do it. Yeah, like in that sense, like as a guy, I guess you just don't really think of it like that as much because you don't have that whole like. Yeah. It's dark. Maybe I shouldn't go over here, but like, I don't know. Like at the time, that doesn't even like run through my mind, and then you'll go out with other people, and they're like, oh. Oh. We're looking on the danger side. It hits you a little bit. I'm like. Alright, like makes you think after a while, like, oh shit, like that really like is a problem for people. Yeah. A realistic problem that they have to deal with every day. It's upsetting to me. Like that is upsetting to me. But I've never had to kick anyone out of a car, never I've held had to deal with a couple of rude people, but they're very few and far between. Yeah, I was gonna say if you're in an Uber and you're like just being a jackass, like it's obviously nothing I did, like, if, yeah. I, like, if I were the driver, I would have been like, if you got, like, if you got into my car and you're just being a dick, like, that's not my fault, that's obviously some kind of, like, outside force. The only pet peeve I have is picking up people at the beach. Oh, the sand. Yeah, Whoa. fucking, I have spent four hours, like, getting sand out of my car I one time. Never, I just, but next time I'm going to, we're like, well, you got sandy feet? You ain't getting in here, dude. Yeah, it's like, are you Sorry. Sand? You got a bunch of chairs and shit? Oh, well, you're not coming in here. Like, Alrighty, find the next Uber. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to be mean or rude or turn people down, but it's just not worth it if they have sand everywhere. Yeah, it's like if you make my life a, like a very big, I don't know, like a very big inconvenience, then I'm not going to... Like the, the, the reward, so yeah. I, it's not risk, I was gonna say risk yeah, to reward. Yeah, it's just dirt. But, like, <laughs> but, but it's like, yo. I was gonna say risk to reward ratio, but like the, the win for loss in that scenario is just like not worth it at all. No. Like the, the cost outweigh the benefits in that yeah. regard. Spending an hour vacuuming your cars is When fun. I should have been spending an hour taking more people yeah. to wherever. Location A and B. Making money. Yeah. yeah, I'm just doing this on the side. I, I got a full-time job. I'm a graphic designer for a fashion company. Yeah. Make a lot of catalogs and whatnot. Fix up the websites. That is something that I think a lot of companies need. It's more, like, web.
website design. Oh, yes. Some of them are so outdated. It's not that, like, yeah. I, I really want to say it's not that hard to do because I've had to make websites before. Yeah. It's just, like, people don't know, either don't know how to do it or they just don't want to. It's a pain in the butt for a lot of mom and pop companies, but if they like, have stuff from like, yeah, they're like still, nine. still on Geo Cities and whatnot. Uh-huh. But uh, <laughs> but like, if a company has a bad website, I won't even work with them. <laughs> it's just irritating. Like even like FAU, their websites needs an overhaul. Horrible. And they're like, oh, we just redid them, and I'm like. Why? What? They are they look- obviously not because you click on one thing and it brings you like I just hate when websites like you click on something and it opens up another window and another window and another window. I was like, no, just yeah. take me to the thing. Don't like open. I don't need eight hundred. Going to all these other like sub like sub screens and all this stuff. I'm like, I don't care. I clicked on this. I want this. I don't want to go to like all these other like X, Y, and Z. Oh, gas ain't too bad over here. I thought the gas would be expensive, but three forty. That, wow, that's really not bad. No, oh, I might fill up over there when I come back. Shell World, where you can get shells, or you go, or you can go to the water, or right the water, <laughs> right here, and pick them up for free. Yes, there's a lot of tourist traps no, in, I, in the Keys. You know, living by or like Orlando, like yeah. I'm well aware of the tourist traps. Theater oh, of the Sea. This is another little tourist trap. All the little junk stores and yeah. souvenirs and the shit. Like, you don't need these things. And they're all overpriced. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm probably gonna hang out in the area and see if there's any any fairs here. I, I bet there would be. Yeah, I'm thinking probably. I don't know what the the scene's like in the Keys. I, was say, I haven't been here in years. You're in the Keys. Uh, yeah. Do you want to reply? Yes. Sorry, what's the message? Yes, I'm in the Keys. Yes, I'm in the keys. Do you want to send it or change it? Send. Okay, it's sent. And that's how you text and drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do that. Please speed voice thing is so big big mistake. It takes longer, but whatever. I mean, I'm not looking at my phone. Yeah, I'm not touching anything. I'm not getting in danger. Danger zone! Movie? I tried to. It, did you not like it? I, I have a very short attention span. Uh, if the movie's not like grabbing me in the first ten minutes, yeah, yeah, I will admit that movie was like the, the action took a while to get right to. Right up until like the last minute to, <laughs> to really get going. It was just like all the drama. Yeah. So yeah, he's still there. I like both of them. Just, I don't know. Like the original was definitely the superior movie. Amazing, yeah. But I've heard a lot of good things, so I'm gonna try to give it a rewatch. Mm-hmm. There's haven't been a lot of good movies recently, but that one like everyone blames COVID. Like it's like, oh well, we can't have good movies. COVID. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, well, everything's fake anyways. The, the background's green screen. They're like what? Why? Why not just green screen the people in too? <laughs> Why can't we make a good movie? No, I did see a good movie. I lied. During COVID. I saw everything, everywhere, all at once. I wanted to watch that. I never did. Watch it. Okay. It's good. Only movie I'm going to endorse. <laughs> COVID movie. Yeah. The new... Uh, I've been watching about some TV shows, though. I watched the new spinoff to Game of Thrones. I didn't watch Game of Thrones. I was going to start watching it recently. Pretty gory, it's pretty bloody. Mm-hmm. But, it's not a good thing. But well written up until I think the fifth season. Yeah, I feel like after a while, like a lot of these long season shows, like multiple season shows, just start having like a lot of filler episodes, and it's just like not interesting at all. 
Well, the interesting or uninteresting thing about the Game of Thrones is it wasn't completed. Like, the books weren't completed. While they were making the show. While they were making the show. Oh. So they kind of just guessed what would happen in the last two seasons. Were they wrong? Yes. Oh. Very wrong. <laughs> but, uh, hey, they tried. They tried. It's a TV show. Yeah. At the end of the day. And you're in the key. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just here. Just here for shits and giggles. Yes. Sorry, did you want to reply to that one? Sure. Okay, what's the message? Yes, I'm driving for Uber. I'm not here on vacation. my location just because, you know, safety reasons. Mm-hmm. So if I get, you know, stuck somewhere or somebody abducts me, <laughs> she knows my last whereabouts. But my, not, um, now she's like trying to, you know, monitor me. Like, you like, hey man. Hey, wait, where, where's this guy at? Hang on. <laughs> I, uh, I stayed with my aunt for like a week when my mom went to Europe and I couldn't go. And, um, she was like, yeah, I need your location. And I was like, uh, what? And she was like, yeah, I, I like to know where the people I am taking care of are at any given time. And yeah. I was like... Kind of creepy, but I okay, like, Grandma. <laughs> I was like, okay, like, that's fine. And she was like, yeah, you can turn it off when you leave. And I was like, all right, that's fine. So, you know, week goes by, I turn it off, and she flips out. She's like, oh, why'd you turn it off? And I was like... <laughs> You but, told me yeah. I could turn it off, and like, first of all, you're not my parent. What the hell do you want? Why are you creeping on me? Yeah, I was like, uh, what? But she's like the, like, I don't want to say Bible thumper aunt, but she's like the very, like, yeah, control, not conservative. Uh, yeah, she's just con- not not controlling, but like, she likes to micromanage a little bit and just kind of know what's going on, and yeah. like, is very like pryy and like. Just want, wants the best for you in like the worst way. Three thirty nine. We're getting even cheaper. Oh boy. How does that make any sense though? What? what? Getting, I mean, I guess because you're getting further away from like Miami, where more people are. But wouldn't it cost more to get gas to the further locations? Yeah. I mean, like we're way we're far away from yeah, the port. Yeah, but like I guess foot traffic wise, you're just trying to make it. More I, don't know. I don't know either, man. Yeah, yeah that's sense. a big mystery to me. Like, yeah, I think the more out yeah, there you are, the further away you are from where the gas comes from, the more expensive it would be. Yeah, but that's not the case. That's why in Tampa I was like, oh, it's super cheap here. Thinking face face with raised eyebrow face with monocle hung. Oh. Have ports yeah. like uh, Miami port, there's Fort Lauderdale port. Yeah, there's no, there's no Key West port. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know why they're Key West airports, but can you land a giant plane full of gas there? No, you can't. So, so yeah, I wish they had a bigger airport here that wasn't all the way in Key West. Yeah, because they have the Marathon one, but it's like. A small little private airport. charter yeah. only, and I was looking at those, and Look. they were like Little thousands so. of dollars. Yeah, and I was like, why? Because you have to, you, you, you have to get the whole flight by yeah. yourself. Mm-hmm. So everything is on you. Usually yeah. with these commercial yeah, I, flights, I, I did like an inquiry thing, and they were like, yeah, it'll be like six or seven. And I was like, six or seven, six or seven what? And like six or seven thousand. I was like, oh. 
were like, what? And they were like, yeah, that's on the cheap end of what, what we're giving you. And oh, like, geez. we also have to factor in, A, you want to leave soon, and B, there's like a two-hour thing for pilots, and they like are like kind of on, like not like standby, but like a bunch of stuff, and this and that, and it's a holiday weekend, and I was like, fuck that. Like, yeah, I'll take the, I'll take the $200 option, and it's, you know, three hours of my life. I don't really care. All right. Yeah, it's like, I, I always try to get two quotes, no matter what I'm doing, like, it's like the, just, the, the, the... The options were so limited that I didn't even want to try looking for more. Yeah. I, just was like, I immediately was like, yeah, screw it. Do it. But I thought, like, I don't know, because the Flix bus used to be a thing. I don't know if it came all the way down here, which I doubt it did. Uh, it I've never even heard of a Flix bus. It's, they used to have, it goes from, like, Miami to Fort Lauderdale, or, like, Miami to West Palm. Okay. There was one from Tampa to Miami. Is that kind of like the Greyhound? Kind of, yeah, but, like, I guess just smaller. Okay. But they were nice. They were, like... Yeah, Greyhounds are disgusting. Yeah, the, the Flix like, bus was, like, these double-decker, like, glass room buses with Wi-Fi, bathrooms. Nice. It stopped, like, once. Stretch your legs and it's like an eight hour drive. Yeah. You know, it stops and like going on a bus, you're going slow. So, that. Yeah. So it was like six hours. And you're making lots of stops. I didn't like You only stopped once though. So oh, okay. that's nice. Because it was from A to B, one stop in the middle to like get gas again. That was, that was the problem with Greyhound. It's too many stops. Yeah. That's why I was thinking about a Greyhound too. And I was like, you see, this is 15 bucks. Like, this is cheap. But they don't go to where I need them to go. So, no. <laughs> Not as convenient as they used to be. Uh, I went Yeah, he's got his tailgate all messed up. Is this a highway? They have authority everywhere. Huh? The highway patrol have authority everywhere. You can be in a national park and the highway patrol can be like, hey. That doesn't, uh, I guess that does make sense. Yeah. Yeah, they are yeah. state police. Yeah. yeah that does make sense. Anywhere in the state they can pull yeah, you that over. But it, with highway patrol, there's usually only two per county or like four per county or something. Yeah. So, no, I think it's two because you'll see them, but, but like usually it's two per county. And I remember driving out of Hillsborough County and seeing all four of them sitting right on the line under a bridge just chatting with each other. I was like, yep, yeah, that makes sense. There goes the tax dollars. <laughs> Kicking back, watching YouTube in their cars. Yeah, hanging out, doing nothing. I was like, you know what? As long as you're not pulling me over, I don't care. Yeah. Like, makes sense. But it's usually like the state trooper guys are usually the assholes. Yeah, the power has gone to their head. <laughs> Which, like, I guess it's a little deserved because, you know, you've got to work pretty hard to get there. Yeah. About being a cop, but then yeah. after that, like recently, I was like, Yeah, okay, cops have got a bad rap as of late. Want to build building more condos out here? Man, oh, that's a big mansion. That's gonna be one. Who gives a heck? Speeding would be a big mistake. Still? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you gotta have still snow, oh, of course. <laughs> the oceans are rising, and we are at sea level yeah, here. Sea level <laughs> Some places under. <laughs> but. Yeah, I thought about being a cop for a long time, and then the climate is completely 180. Yeah. So, yeah, that kind of fell off the table. But I'm my major right now is criminal justice, and I was thinking maybe go to law school, maybe not take the bar exam, but go to law school and like join the FBI. That's another career. But. Uh, I was looking at like the internships that the FBI does, and it's like two in the entire state of Florida huh. per year. Wow. And I was like, oh, boy. That's small chances of getting yeah, in. Yeah, like, yeah, the, it's, the competition is very high. Yeah, it sounds like, like it. You know, there goes my chance. Cause Have I you considered the CIA, or you're more of one so to work with the FBI? The CIA is more of like a spy. A, Come yeah, they you, you. You do absolutely nothing. You have to be in like really good in whatever field you're in. Yeah, military. And then they'll come yeah. to you and say, "Will you come with us to do this?" Yeah. And then they immediately like cut your ties with a lot of things. Just like, hey, 
So all right, you don't exist anymore. Day, you work at this boring job, doing basically the same thing you already did, which is like. So my mom, her fiance was in the Air Force, and he just retired recently. But he's doing like government contract jobs, and he was stationed in Germany most recently. So that's why we go to Germany. And he was back when he was like active duty, like on tours and stuff. He was a combat controller, which is like the Air Force's equivalent to like a Navy SEAL or like an Army Green Beret. So he was like top dog of like special operations for the Air Force. And I was like, okay, so you know, not what you're doing. <laughs> And this person behind me has a whole iPad in his, oh, in his mirror. Is a, yeah, <laughs> it's an obstruction. Right? I'm like, yo, you're watching YouTube? What's going on? <laughs> watching there, man? Netflix. What's it's going it's on, bro? A Tesla screen. <laughs> Why does he have a whole iPad? <laughs> the tablet kids are out for a while. I mean, I was a tablet kid, so I'm not even going to yeah, say Yeah, my anything. kid's a tablet I, I kid. Was, I was an iPad kid. I'm not even going to say anything. Yeah, I hand over the, the, the tablet. I'm like, here you go, bro. <laughs> here you go. I know you're going to rot your brain, but uh, you're going to rot your brain watching cartoons anyways. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, yeah, he was, like, this crazy guy. He did all this stuff. But, like, with the uh, Navy SEALs and whatever, there's always one of him, like, one of his position yeah. with all those groups individually whenever they go out to do stuff. So he's, like way up here in the crazy department and um, his job to my knowledge for the longest time was he's part of this thing called Africa it's like Africa Command where they stationed him in some country in Africa and he would basically teach these small militia groups how to like arm themselves and defend themselves and it's basically like this is a gun this is how you kill each other go kill each other like when he got his other job after he was done doing, like, active duty stuff, and, um, then he retired and got this contract job that is basically the polar opposite of what he did before. He still works in the same building, but now he's like, hey guys, remember how I told you to, uh, shoot each other? Let's use our words. Yeah, let's not shoot each other anymore. Let's be diplomatic, which I think, in my honest opinion, is some, like, cover. I think it's just not true. Like, I think he works for, like, the CIA. Just because, like, just some of the stories he's told me and, like, some of the things that, like, I've seen him come in with, like, all these classified things. He can't even take his phone into his office. Ah. He has to do, like, the Better Call Saul, like, lock it in a box outside the house. Okay. But, like, he literally has to lock his phone in his, like any kind of electronic stuff yeah, outside of his office. Sounds pretty sus, dude. And I was like, <laughs> whoa. Sounds pretty <laughs> sus. It's like, hang on a second. What's That's going on? That's not a normal job. <laughs> he has just, I don't know, he has like classified documents all the time and he's like super... Secretive. It's not super, I mean, yeah, with his job, like with his work, yes, but with anything else, no. Like, if you saw him on the street, you saw him on the street, you would think, that is a normal guy. Just a very short, not super short, but shorter than me, super buff, Puerto Rican man. And I just, yeah, and you just be like, uh huh, and then he tells you what he does, and it's just like, not a normal guy. You know? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. He told me a lot of stories, and his PTSD is very upsetting to me. He's got a lot of the PTSDs. It's, yeah, but it's, it's like, it's not like, physical, like, the shakes and whatever, okay. it's more of, like, mental, yeah, it's like, he can't stand when, like, the thought of, like, there could be someone lurking in the dark outside my house, there. just because he's, like, been in those scenarios before where he's been in, like, complete darkness and, like, had people walking around him trying to find him. Yeah, it's over here. They were good. We have like floodlights all around our house. Yeah, my. So the, the put, person that lived there prior probably had like the same kind of mm-hmm. anxiety. Yeah, he put up like floodlights in my backyard and like around the house on the fences and yeah. stuff. And he's just super like anxious about stuff like that. And I'm just like, I feel so bad, but it's also like. I guess he's the one who knows how to do 
deal with it fast. Yeah. I don't know what I can do. Like, I'll talk to you about it, but he's not, like, super expressive. I mean, he's, like, told me a few things, but he's not super expressive. Like, he told me the one thing that, like, really, like, messed him up for the first time was he was doing this. Speeding would be a big mistake. Like, thing where they were flying over this, like, Taliban, like, compound, and they were going to go drop bombs on it. Oh, jeez. And... Kind of like the middleman for them in this thing. Like he was, he does like ATC stuff when he's on like boots on the ground. Like he's ba- like his job as a combat controller is basically like when they set up a new base, he does all of the air traffic control and all of this stuff. But he also knows how to like jump on a plane and scuba dive and shoot Jeez. people and stuff. So <laughs> he's done all of those things. All the things. But because he has to be, because if he goes out with like. Green Berets or whatever Navy SEALs, he has to know what they, like, do, yeah. how to do what they do if he's with them. Yeah, definitely. So, he was doing this, like, air traffic type thing where they're going to go blow up this stuff, and the guys in the plane are like, okay, we see it, can we drop the bombs? And he talks to his boss, he's like, can they blow up the thing? And his boss is like, uh-huh. And then he relays a message, yeah, go ahead. So they do it. And then right as he says, go ahead and do it, and they say, all right, we did it, somebody else comes in and says, no, nah, no, you don't have to do it. No, they're like, no, <laughs> don't do it, because there's a school right next to it. Oh, jeez. And he was like, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Like, holy fuck. And Love he had to go, like, two, almost three weeks without knowing if he had blown up a school full of children. Oh, my and God. luckily he did not. He got the, the, the compound. Yeah. But it fucked him up so bad to where he just didn't want to, like, Function. do it anymore. Yeah. He was like, I don't, I can't do this. But it was, like, right in the beginning, and they were like, look, that was not on you. And even if it happened, it wouldn't have been on you because you didn't know. Yeah, it's some heavy stuff. Mm-hmm. And it just, like, I was like, jeez, like, that, I could not imagine having to, like, deal with that. Yeah, it's crazy. And it also hurts that they don't do very much in the sense of like helping people with PTSD. Yeah, it's a it's a rough situation. Like, like what do you do? What can you do? Yeah, like if, if they don't want help, you can't help them. But they shouldn't be afraid to ask for help. Yeah. Because it's just been like a like a thing like told in their head like no if you ask for help you are that's weak weak and yeah. you are a soldier and you can't be weak because you're a soldier this and that so like they, they won't but they should oh, it's just upsetting to me yeah the way that our government treats our vets is kind of shit <laughs> it's kind of shit I don't know the best way to put that but no you're right um, I think uh, if we expect people to give up their lives and die for our country, then maybe we should treat them better. Yeah, like the better. Yeah, like the the most you could do is make up for the fact that they went out to protect you. Like, I'm not saying like you or me personally. I'm saying like yeah, the, country. the people that told them you are going to go to this super far away place and get shot at. And get things thrown at you and have things blow up for you and all this stuff. Like maybe, you know, like we're telling you to do this and you signed up for this. Don't like don't get me wrong, like you agreed to do this. Or even if you didn't, like if you got drafted, which hasn't happened in forever. Yeah. But was that World War Two? Vietnam. Vietnam that we drafted? Yeah. Oh jeez. That's not too far away actually. <laughs> That's in the sixties. But um yeah, like, the, the, the least you could do is, like, support them in some way when they come back. Yeah, like, mental health uh, would be nice yeah, for all of them. Yeah, that's why, like, I think it was even just after Vietnam, like, they got nothing. Which is, like, I get, I understand, in, like, looking at it as of now, it's horrible, but I understand people were not fond of them when they came back. They were, like, in the beginning, they were like, yeah, you're... Yeah, it's a war that protecting, America... protecting democracy. Yeah, it's a war that America wasn't really down with. It didn't really need to with. fight. They, we did not need to go to Vietnam to, you know, 
contain communism and this and that and like the whole like like oh we're just protecting democracy in in Asia and across Europe because you know the Iron Curtain this and that and it was like no no because like it, it it helped absolutely nobody because you look at us now and now we have a society full of diseased vets that can't function and you still have this like thought process of, no, you don't go get help, and, you know, when you come back, no one's going to appreciate you. The worst thing about Vietnam is, like, the Agent Orange. Yeah, exactly, the pesticides, and you're, you were burning people alive, and, like, people still have birth defects yeah. and cancer. And having From, children without limbs and whatnot. Not, yeah, exactly, like, the, the, the rainbow array of freaking pesticides you dump on these people. Yeah, it's kind of criminal if you ask me it like it is it was literally like vietnam was an excuse to like push the limits of yeah. what was and was not a war crime really test them oh people let's burn them oh, yeah. oh there's trees we don't like trees all it's, these chemicals i were all these chemicals on them i don't know all these chemicals we're using is messing up our own guys ah. it's like, oh, we're killing each other So, the more automation I see, the better, I yeah, think. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> like, less boots on the ground and less actual people in harm's way, the happier I am. But it's also, like, the more afraid I am, if I'm being honest, because, like, yeah. at any moment... They can turn the button against I can us. just explode. <laughs> yeah, they can just turn the button I, on I, us. I will really never know. Hey. If we don't like all these Facebook posts, you've been making. Weep. <laughs> Laser snipe you from space. Yeah, right. <laughs> Alright, we're getting close. Awesome. Yeah. When I say close, we're still 30, 30 minutes. minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes away, but we're it's making progress. It, it seems like it's gone faster than three hours in our minds. Which, like, I think the conversation has helped. Yeah. We've got someone to talk to. That's really like, it's not so bad. Even driving here from Tampa, or driving to Boca from Tampa, it's just like awful. A hell ride. It's like when you're just bored out of your mind, you get like tunnel vision and it's just like, what am I going to do? Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to stretch my legs at the next gas station. Yeah. Getting a little cramped up in here. back I'm not looking forward to. Yeah, that's <laughs> why like I felt really bad. It's like this is gonna suck because I know if it was me I would have been like. What I'm gonna do is try to put a, a destination like to Miami and see if anybody wants, wants to, to go. wants to go from here to Miami so I'm not just wasting wasting the gas. I would have been like, oh, like you drive it back. If it were me I would have just blown up. <laughs> Yeah, it's a rough deal. Like, thanks for the money, but like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's rough when you, uh, you got a long distance to go to yeah. get back. But, whichever. I came out today, you know, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to drive until like maybe 2 a.m. So what time did you start? Uh, start? Uh, it started around 2. Uh -huh. So, I'm trying to do like a 12 hour shift. Yeah. You know, see how much I can earn. The goal was like 300 bucks, but we'll see where I get. Yeah, with the gas now, I don't know if that's like. I mean, if you fill up here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna fill up here. I'll drive back. I'll be fine. Maybe take a couple more fares and then go home. I feel like this one could work out a little bit. Oh, yeah, definitely could, but. I'm, uh, I'm a trooper. I, I can drive for a good 12, 12 hours straight without, you know, nodding off or anything. Sometimes I'll have to get a coffee. Yeah, like I've gotten to the point where I was like almost falling asleep before, but I had to go home. Like I, I could not stop or I would not get home. So I was like, all right, you can do this. But it was it was coming back from Sarasota after a race because like when we go, you wake up at 4.35 in the morning, you get there at like 6, 6.30. Okay. And you are there all day from, I'll say, Let's just say 7 a.m. to about 7 or 8 p.m. And then you go home. 
after being out in the sun all day, racing, yeah. lifting a bunch of heavy shit, and like just after just like normal general exhaustion, and then you have to drive home. Yeah. So you know you're going home and it's just like a couple more hours here. Yeah. So like in the beginning you're like all right I got it, and then you start to like get that tunnel vision even when you're listening to music and stuff. It's just like okay. And then I was probably. Minutes from being home, and I was like, like I just like, I felt it. I was like, I feel my eyelids closing. Okay. Yeah. When your body starts shutting down on you. I was like, stop, stop, like wake up, like. Come Don't on. go to sleep yet. You're <laughs> not in bed. Like, no, we're not home yet. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. Like, that's the one thing about being your own boss, is I'm a horrible like boss to myself. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, your body can go. Like, you got it. You got it. Like, you can make another hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> My wife always wants to go on expensive trips. So it's always good to have a little extra in the, the bank account. Yeah. Okay. I just got my um what's it called? Like we get um I had to get like financial aid to go to school. Okay. So I got um, and like for Florida, they have the Bright Futures scholarship. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if you know anything about that. I, I mean, you my, probably would. Yeah, as my daughter. Parent, yeah, 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 as a parent, you probably know about this. Yeah. But I got the um, seventy-five percent of my tuition covered. Nice. So that's like out of the picture. Yeah, so then nice. I just started like trying to accumulate as much extra as I could to cover living expenses, food, stuff like that, yeah. and. I got in total for the year probably sixteen thousand dollars, and then like there was probably two thousand dollars worth of loans. Okay. But I just got my you know for the first semester my like return because they only use the money per semester. Yes. They use it towards your tuition, and then they give you the the remaining balance back into your account. They say here you can do whatever you want with this, but you know they're thinking you're gonna use it for food or for, like. Yeah, I think my daughter spent it all on like skins for the video game she plays. <laughs> I was like, that's not the most wise decision, yeah, but okay. I was like, I'm not doing that. Like, I need it for food. It's like I either use it for food or rent, or I do not eat or live in a yeah. home. So yeah. yeah, but I just got that back today. Awesome. It was like 5,500 bucks. Nice. Like this is. Now I don't have to. I was because I was worrying about my yeah, rent stressing money. about money. Cause I had my rent was nine hundred and fifty dollars, and I had about a thousand. So I was like, there all right, is. I pay rent, and now I have no money. Now we're all ocean here for a minute. I love how the biggest height differences in Florida are bridges. Yeah, from one island to the next. Yeah. That and the garbage hills. Yeah. Yeah. The sulfur <laughs> mines and the and the. Garbage hills. Garbage hills. This is gonna be the only thing left after <laughs> after sea levels sea rise. Level rise yeah. The bridges, the garbage hills. The bridges are now gonna be sidewalks. Yeah. Garbage hills. We're gonna to have to start building our homes up. <laughs> There's this area in Tampa called uh, it's Davis Island. It's this little island where um, Tampa Tampa General Hospital is. Okay. And also where all the like crazy rich people live because it's this whole little like secluded area and it's a little island but that whole island is made out of like dredged up mud from the bottom of the bay okay. and garbage nice so all the rich people live on garbage that's awesome and it's just like funny to think about sometimes yeah like oh mm -hmm, oh the garbage me. we got an island what do you got we're like, the garbage people <laughs> like, you got an island made of sea mud and shit so <laughs> I, I don't know what you're bragging about like congratulations for you, I guess. That's why your pipes don't work. Hmm. Has it reported ahead? Get down! Alright, I might have to change that voice up. <laughs> I had Cookie Monster for the longest time. Oh my god. I but, love Cookie Monster. But Cookie Monster, I don't know, people gave me weird looks. They're like, why? Well, yeah. I'm like, I got kids. <laughs> they like Cookie Monster. Calm down. Wonder Pets, all the stuff, all of the... 
Yeah, I just saw the Super Super Pets uh, movie. Really? With the uh, Super Dog and oh, with uh, Batman. Yeah, that's like dog. it's like The Rock. And yeah. Like, it was all right. Uh, it was like not the best movie ever made, but it was a good kids movie. YouTube. <laughs> YouTube Kids. YouTube. Yeah. All their... I love growing up on cable TV, man. Spongebob. Oh my yeah. god, Nick Spongebob. Lonnie. Freaking Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> when I was a kid, we didn't even have cable. We had three channels. <laughs> Weather. Yeah, we Weather. Had... National News. Yeah, we had Channel 7. Channel 10 and Channel 4. That's it. Things were much different when, when I was a youngster. You could go outside and play outside until 8 o'clock p.m. and not worried about yeah, getting kidnapped. Yeah, as soon as the come on, go back home. ahead. Speeding would be a big mistake. Now we got the, the streaming wars of the 2000s. Like, who's going to win? I wonder. Disney has the biggest bankroll out of all of you guys. And it'll eventually just buy out your companies. When like they do with everybody else. Yep. <laughs> so it's just a matter of time before we hear the news that Disney acquired Netflix. Yep. And then Amazon. Amazon's actually not doing too good. Really? Yeah, I, I heard from the inside source. I just picked up a... Amazon employee, and he told me that they're spending so much money that they're not profiting. Come on, Bezos, what are you doing? All right, he's trying to <laughs> spend. He's floundering. He's <laughs> spending all this money on like space, these space stuff. Not only space, but these uh, giant warehouses that are completely automated. Oh, the the, the manless warehouses, yeah, which is so stupid. You're just taking away. But not, not only is it stupid, it's costing him a fortune. Yeah, I bet. It's and the, Amazon, like, the, the first the... robots aren't good. Oh, I bet. So he's stuck with millions of dollars of robots that, that are just garbage. They're bumping into each other and not doing what the tasks need to be completed. It's so the they're people need jobs. They're converting their their warehouses back to people. Yeah, because he was talking about it. Because I know he already made these, like, giant, where, like, a mega warehouse thing. Yeah. Like, these giant Amazon, like... Facility centers. Yeah, like, the giant facilities. Yeah. But I didn't know he was making them all automated. That's what the goal was originally. But now that he saw that the robots just can't handle it, we're not there yet. As far as the AI and the technology that needs to be there... So he's just like, well, I guess I'll have to put humans in there. <laughs> and these these facilities weren't made for humans. They are just made for robots. tiny little robots. So there's a little bit of revamping. He needs to do these gigafactories. But he was letting me know that it is costing them a, a small fortune. A small fortune. And then he spent, like, he's making really bad decisions. He spent, like, the most expensive TV show ever made is going to be Lord of the Rings. I, I think the first episode's out. But he spent close to $2 billion on the show. What? Yeah. And the most expensive TV show in history. And uh, it could be a flop. <laughs> it could be, like, bad writing and... If you... Alright, so there's already how many Lord of the Rings? I think six. Okay. Six. So if well, you if you count the cartoons, there are cartoons that were made yeah. in the 70s. I think you would be up to like eight or nine. Yeah. So if you fuck that up, yeah. something that's already kind of like cemented, uh, established in, lore. If you fuck that up, <laughs> there is going to be a problem. It's like Disney when they made the new Star Wars movies. Yeah. And they, they fucked them up yeah. so bad. They weren't good. 
I, okay, don't get me wrong. They weren't horrible, but they were well, not good. As a Star Wars fan? One, yeah, I'm a very big Star Wars fan. The first one fucking sucked. Well, the first one, I didn't seven, mind. Seven was, like, all right, in my opinion. No, I hate, hated seven. Okay, that's what I, I mean. Like, out of that trilogy, that first one fucking sucked. It was, like, that's a, pointless, pointless movie. A new, the New Hope wannabe? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was like, this is the same crappy piece of garbage. <laughs> yeah. The first movie of all three trilogies always starts on a fucking sandy rock. Yeah. Stop. Please stop. <laughs> The second one was like really dumb, and the third was one the it was like the most action-packed one. The uh, Last Jedi, was that the one? Yeah, I, I don't remember. That one was the dumbest of all. Like where Luke threw away his lightsaber and was like, oh. Yeah, 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 that was stupid. He was like, oh, I give up. Like, like the what? The why what? are you in the movie? Like, fuck you. Yeah, like what was the purpose and then of? And just like he just like disappears and like what the hell? Like, what, was, what was the purpose of bringing him back just to? Just suck on the teeth of an alien? Yeah. Like, that was just weird. And then the one where they killed Palpatine, or they, they resurrected Palpatine. Oh. I was like, okay, oh. this is really stupid, it but, like, this dumb. movie has, like, this one has the best plot out of all of them. Then that's sad. Yeah. But that it was movie with space horses. Yeah. Like, riding on top, riding of, on top of a fucking, like, spaceship. four kilometer long fucking triangle. Oh my god, the, the horses with the suction cups, and yeah. I'm like, yo, dude, this is stupid. <laughs> Who thought of this? That yeah, sure, works. it'll make great toys, yeah, but... Yeah, that's literally, it's just because Disney bought it. They're like, oh, money, like, whatever makes us the most money. So they ruined a fucking, like, dream of mine to watch fucking Star Wars movies in a movie theater. Yeah. They ruined it. Yeah, it was pretty bad. But here's, here's an insider scoop for you. They're going to reboot the entire franchise. Star Wars, starting with, you know, The New Hope. So, yeah. Yeah, with, like, new... A new, all new cast. cast. All new cast. Um, Princess Leia is going to be the main focus, though. That's, okay, that's cool. And they're going to kind of downplay Luke Skywalker. Okay, that's a little less cool. (laughs) Yes. And they're going to replace Han Solo with a female okay, bounty, that, why? bounty hunter. Oh, feminism! Yeah! No! Like, no. no! Don't ruin Star Wars! That, right, that's why I think Top Gun was one of the best movies that has come out in the last, like, two years. Only because it didn't focus on, like, Gender. feminism or equality yeah. or anything. Because it's just been, like so much shoved down your throat Amen. it's like okay I understand I that there's a problem here <laughs> but when you keep telling me about the same problem without doing anything about it like without doing literally anything about it I do not care yeah I don't go to movies to, I don't go to, movies to, to learn about, about feminism I do not care I do not care I'm not going to watch a movie about whatever yes. just to have the whatever like the just be talking about, about like the wage gap. Like, I know there's a wage gap, and I'm very aware. But I don't need it in my I Star Wars it movie. To be told to me in a sci-fi setting. No, yeah, exactly. It's something that does not exist. Or, or to, the Lord of the, the Rings. Of like I don't the need Lord of, of the Rings movie, to preach to me. No, the point of a movie is to disassociate with real life and entertain. And escape and be entertained. Entertain me for two hours. Sucked into the universe that you are now in. But when you can't do that because they are just shoving politics down your throat. There's cops everywhere. Yeah, I've seen a lot. Like every one of these blue marks is the cop. These blue marks is the cop. Really? Yeah. They're just everywhere on this this trip. Just yeah, someone like sitting in the median in the little ditch yeah. and then on the sides in the parking lot. Oh, lines. over the place. I guess they gotta make it their quota. Let's that's, uh, and they try and say, no, that's not real. Yes, it is. Are you kidding me? Of course yeah, it is. That's why you guys are out in full effect. Yeah, it's like, hmm, why are all of you in, like, this one strip of land? You must be getting a bonus yeah. for some kind of quota that Either you Either sitting here, you're getting a bonus, or, you know, driving up and down. Handing out tickets. Probably tickets for random things that do not matter. Yeah. Oh, no, your windshield is too dark? Or your, 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 your windows are too dark? I, my windows are too dark. Really? <laughs> yeah. They're way too dark. But yet, at nighttime, I have to, like, roll them down and look if, like, and pedestrians are in the way. Yeah. My friend tinted her windows. She had a Jetta. And she yeah. tried to tint her windows, and she fucked them up so bad. That, she like, did it herself? Yes. Oh, jeez. But she did it, like, horribly. 
and they're just so like it's not like spider web but like all that like bubbles, it's, like, and, bubbles and, yeah. and I'm like dude you fuck this like this looks so bad she's like yeah I just need to get rid of it and I was like just tear it off like do you know where we're actually going because I have a marker here I'll get you that marker but uh, what is that I mean, I can speeding would be a big mistake no do you like do you know the address or yeah, yeah. okay As long as you know where we're going, then, then we're... Yeah, we're I, you know, I know based on a text, okay. some letters and words, that I think I know where we're going. Alright. Not based on location. We're not... Is that 15 minutes? Yeah, we got time. Well, another one. Jeez, they're out of the bounds.
Like, there's literally a dude, like, my neighbor. Well, it's almost, it's almost legal, right? No, I honestly, like, if you're smoking pot, I really don't care, because I will, I would like to partake with you, honestly. Yeah. But, like, literally my neighbor has, like, a folding chair outside his door, but he'll just come out and sit with his mom. Nice. And I was like, <laughs> you know what, I fuck with you. I like you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I just quit vaping. It's, I just... Does it give you the popcorn lungs or whatever yeah, they say? Yeah, I mean, I, I never got, like, super addicted to it, like, the nicotine yeah. craze. Like, I never got, like, super addicted You're to nicotine. You're just doing, like, the flavors? It's just, yeah, like, the taste and, like, I, get, I got more addicted to the action of, like, blowing shit out of my mouth. I was yeah. like, oh, ooh, smoke. Ooh, ooh cool. <laughs> but it's just, like, I don't know, I used it for that, and, like, I did get buzzed every once in a while, but, like, yeah. after doing it for so long, I just didn't anymore, so I was like, yeah, I didn't. I used to smoke cigarettes when cigarettes were like two dollars a pack. Yeah, now they're like eight dollars. Yeah, and like somebody came out and they're like, yeah, this was ten dollars. Like seven or eight bucks. I'm like, what the fuck? Like the brand I used to smoke is like ten bucks. I'm like, oh. well, jeez. Yeah. But I hate. I hated like smoking, but I was so addicted that mm-hmm. I was. I only on it. like I've smoked cigarettes very few times in my life, and it's only because I was drunk. Yeah, that that <laughs> that'll get you if you yeah. get a little good good buzz going on and you smell that cigarette smoke. Oh my smoke. god! It's, and it's like if you're ever like you feel gross and you just like I don't know if it's like a placebo thing, but you smoke a cigarette and it's just like it kind of like can just knock your buzz out if you want it to. Yeah. Or like your drunk feeling, it'll just like completely cancel it out. Now it can be sober or pretend I'm sober. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, like, I'll, I'll still, you know, smoke a cigar every once in a while, but that's different, because I'm not, like, actively inhaling a cigar like I would a vape or a cigarette. So in my mind, I'd, I'd like to think it's different, even though I know I'm just getting, like, gum cancer instead of lung cancer. Like, these big companies that are trying to preach all this feminism and whatnot down your throat with all these movies and whatnot, they need to realize that men are the majority of ticket buyers, like... Like, we're 56% of all ticket purchases. So if you're going to shit on half of the... The male population, the half of the people that buy your, your tickets. Your going tickets, you're not going to have a good outcome. Yeah. Like, that's not going to work out for you in the long end. I just, some of, like, all right, I understand the feminism arguments and, like, the movement No, I'm, I'm all about I'm equality. I'm all for it. Like, I'm all for it. Until you get to like the super radical part where they're like, "Oh, kill all the men. We don't need men in our society." This nope. and that. I'm like, "Uh, um, nope." <laughs> hang on, rewind. How do you get more of you? Uh, I'm um, uh, yeah. They're like, "Oh, bone marrow." And it's oh. like, "Yeah." Then your kid's gonna come out with three legs and a and a head. It's gonna look like a little spider. Yeah, I don't. Head. I don't mind feminism at all, but I do mind it in Star Wars or I mind Lord of the in, Rings. In, in, in places where it doesn't. Need yeah, like, leave it out of my fantasy, yeah, alright? Exactly. <laughs> leave it out of my escape from reality, like a video game or... Yeah, video games have done it a lot less. But, not recently. But yeah, I've seen like a couple of trickle in. <laughs> not recently. <laughs> I've seen, uh... You know, I'm not like an avid Call of Duty game. Oh yeah, Call of Duty went that way. Call of Duty guy, went but, that like, way. The most recent ones, they're like... Speeding gotta be a woman. Mistake. Gotta be a, a female protagonist. But like... They had a female protagonist in World War Two. They, yes. they did not fight in any of them. They, they had it. So hers in this in this most recent game kind of made sense because she was a Russian spy. Sniper. She was a sniper oh, okay. for like the Red Army, which was true. There were small regiments of female fighters, female snipers in the Red Army, but but there were not many. There yeah. Were, there were not many, and it was not really documented very well. So, eh, like most of the time, especially in older conflicts like that, you were either a nurse or you were a civilian casualty. Yeah. So you know, take your pick, I guess. That sounds horrible. <laughs> That's not what I meant. But it is what it is. Like it is. Like I can't change the past. Right. Back to. Did exist back then. Yeah. Even if you try to rewrite it in a video game, it, it's still a thing. Sexism, racism, whatever. Like, it's going to be a thing, no matter how you look at it in yeah. history. Like, you can't change history. You can't change it. Which I hate. I hate that you know, like even older people, like my grandparents and stuff, are still like they got that little bit of racism still in them. 
I think we all do, like deep down inside. Probably. We all have our biases. Like, no, there's definitely like biases that I have that I know I have, and I'm just like, I know like this is wrong and I shouldn't think like this, but also like I'm free to have my own opinion. Even if I like, since I'm not speaking it out loud and like trying to shove it down your throat, yeah. I think I should be entitled to my own opinion if like, I keep it to myself. I'm mixed race, so like whatever, whoever, like whatever you guys want to do, mm-hmm. free love, all that bullshit. But, like, when black people jump in my car, like, sometimes my biases is like, oh, man, they're not going to tip. This person, like, yeah, like, as, like, as somebody who is half Jewish, like, <laughs> the, I, I, I can say some of the stereotypes are there. I will admit them. Yeah. But, like. But, but saying that, I just, my first, my first ride was an African-American lady from a nail salon. She tipped me $20. So I was like, wow. Man. That's what's up. <laughs> like, yeah, and I wasn't even like flirting with her or anything. Like, yeah, that's like, I was shocked. I was like, yo, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, for the first trip, nice. That's a good way to start it off. And uh, you know, like, it's very few black people that actually tip. So it's like, wow, <laughs> way to smash the stereotypes here. Yeah, you know, coming from, like I said, a half-Jewish guy, yeah. tipping is not always, like, my priority, even though, like, if I go out to eat, I'm going to tip, yes. it's probably going to be 20%, just because that's, like, how I was raised, raised like, it's how I was brought up, and it's just easy to do math like that. Yeah, 20% for you. Yeah, so, unless you give me some kind of, like, digital option to choose otherwise, I'm going to give you 20%, even if there is a digital option. If I think you deserve a tip that is, like, fitting, you are going to get it, or you're going to get more. I went to a Deerfield Beach restaurant. I like Deerfield Beach. I went to a restaurant on the beach, and tip was included. Like, they didn't even give me the option. Really? They were just like, you're tipping this amount, it's on the bill, and I was that, like, yo. Right, I understand if that's in, like, a, a group of more than six people, I the, get it, but, yeah. like... What? Yeah, that was a little rough for me. I was like, no, I don't, I don't like this. But like, so, Deerfield Beach is also like all the like, a bunch of like retirees and like yeah. old people yeah. that but I guess, don't know how money works. I guess they had so many bad like experiences with people just not, not tipping. tipping. Is that uh, they just put it on the bill? Included. I mean, maybe make it some kind of smaller amount if you want to tip more. Tip more. Yeah, like, but it was set at eighteen. Okay, that's yeah. Okay. And I was like, yo, that's like if they give me though. bad service. Yeah, I was like, that's not good, though, because, like, that just gives the servers an excuse to just be an asshole. Or not, and not try to refill drinks or nothing, like, ask me if I need anything. Like, sorry, sorry I came to your table twice, and it was to give you your, right, not, like, three times, and it was to take your order, give you your, or, like, give food. you your food, and then give you the check. Yep, that was Where my 18% gratuity is included. Yeah, it was a little rough, and I'm probably not going to eat there anymore. Yeah. Just because I don't Do like you to be. The name of the place? No, I don't. I don't. I've was... been to the places like right on the beach. I want to say it's like Barney's or it started with a B. There was JB's, but I like JB's. There was their tip was included. It's uh, it's like right on the pier, and I'm not sure if it was a Boca restaurant Is it or on the pier. Was it like a small cafe place, or was it like one of those like stupid expensive like? It was too big for me. Yeah, was it like the re- like one of like the nicer restaurants? Right? Yeah. Uh, was it? There's a place called Oceans right there. Oceans 34. It's like someplace named with an S, you know. It's like Barney's or uh, Berries. Deep and steak. And uh, might have been down. The, might have been down the other side because I've only stuck to the one side. Yeah. If you're looking at the pier, I've only been on like the left side. I didn't really go much further. It might even be a Boca yeah. pier. Okay. Because uh, when you get old like me, uh, everything just kind of like merges together. <laughs> Honestly, the days of the week kind of merge together for me half the time. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't, you know, I, I couldn't tell you what I did on Tuesday. Probably the same thing I did on Wednesday. Yeah, I was say, probably the same thing I did, you know, Thursday or Wednesday. Yeah. Woke up, went to class, went home. Mm. Yeah, because it's pretty routine. It sucks. They got a couple of cheap places. I'm probably gonna hit up one of the ones at uh, 3:30. Yeah, I was gonna say that seems hard. Let's be 
Yeah, it's starting to get up there again. I think this is just like where all the people are now. Yes. This is like the the downtown area. Kmart. Oh my god, that fucking. Remember space. that? Win Dixie oh. too. There's a Win Dixie right by my house. They're coming back. I mean, they were coming back. Yeah, yeah this has been the story of my life this whole trip, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like the police. Hey, there's a cop. Hey, there's a cop. Hey, there's a cop. Yeah, Kmart, you don't see too many of those oh, around. Oh, it's Kmart, like all the ones that were like in um, Tampa? Yeah, around Tampa, around where Bush Gardens is, and Temple Terrace, where it, that's like kind of like almost a ghetto. Well, it's like, no, it's basically just ghetto. But like, yeah. that's where my grandparents live, and I'm around there all the time. So what like, the I'm just used to seeing like Kmart and people, not trolls, but um, bells and shit like that. Okay. They're all around there, and they're gone. Yeah. All of like the strip mall stores, like all of the, I don't know, like the major like, I want to say department stores, but like, they were the stores that were like the big ones in the strip mall. Yeah. And they're gone. Yeah. Walmart really messed everybody up, like really disrupted everything, and then Amazon came along and like yeah, expanded like, hey, on we that. we sell books, but now we sell everything. everything. And <laughs> sometimes we sell for less than these big stores. Wait, it's free shipping, yeah. which is really hurting their business. Like yeah, that, that is. whole model, of getting things in an unrealistic time frame. For free. No matter what free shipping. Well, it's like ten dollars a month, but yeah. people think it's free shipping. I was just saying, I am a prime subscriber. Well, my mom is, and I have that. One yeah. more. Turn left. All right. I mean, there's like a lot of benefits that go with that, I guess. Like you get the, you know, yeah. you know, the video thing. You get the yeah, nobody nobody uses the other stuff though. <laughs> like I use the photos. Like they have, if you're a Prime member, you have unlimited file storage. Really? With Amazon Photo, yeah. I'm, I did not know that. That's the one I use the most because. Oh, that's pro that's so helpful because I have like ten thousand pictures. Yeah, to download the Amazon Photo app on your phone and just upload them all, and you can share them with your family too. Oh, oh it's like a like a cloud thing. Yeah. Oh, that's even better. Yeah. Well, that's my best advice for any Prime members oh, out there. Amazing. Oh, you can turn in here. Double yellow line. Oh, boy. <laughs> Breaking the law. Breaking the law. It's like, yeah, but there was a car, like, come on, like, yeah, you know, calm let's, down. let's think about this car. I'm going to flip the car and go over the line. And I just always, always want to use my turning signal. When you touch the line. Yeah, or never. Alright, let's figure out where we're turning here. Turn left. Uh, you left there or here? Okay, so let's try to find this place. You have arrived, Aston the Beastick, baby. Do you have an exact address? Yeah, it's 210 Fifth Moon Circle. 210.
a U-turn. This is a mission priority. Turn right. Okay. Well, this bit off, but I'll get you there. What? Because it's 16 minutes away. You want to call your people and just make sure, double yeah. check? Because that is a whole key away here. So just, com U just confirm with them. Because the marker shouldn't be that off. Out here. I'm trying to pop that little. Yeah, that's pressure. That's a mistake. Yeah, I was like, man, I can, right. I can make it. And I'm like, well, <laughs> maybe I don't need to risk it. Yeah, the address is. Okay, I'm gonna take you there. I, I, I swear that's what I put in. I don't know if I should right. complete the ride here and just drive you over there. Well, it, I don't. Because uh, sometimes it gives me a problem if you know, you're too far away from the marker. Oh. Uh, so I'm just gonna. Is it saying that the address is there? Yeah. For Uber. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. But I'm just gonna take you to this other location. It's like we passed it 15 minutes ago. So. That's stupid. Yeah. Yeah, when I saw we were driving through a uh, trailer home, I was like, what is this a place? Like they sent me a picture earlier and it was like this pool outside, it's like <laughs> nice stone back. I'm like, this looks like a trailer house. Oh, interesting. Wow. You're like, where are you hiding the, the fancy pool? Like, <laughs> well, it's just in the backyard here. <laughs> it's like that house is in the middle of nowhere, Florida, where it's like super, like, gi like ginormous houses with like, super nice, like, amenities and stuff. People get on like this dumb cheap land in the middle of nowhere. I don't blame you, I guess. It's cheap. Yeah. Might as well, but you also are sacrificing the fact that you live in what part of nowhere. Florida City, that's a. <laughs> I knew a couple of people that lived there, like, there's nothing to do out there, it's just like, in the middle of the Everglades. up in here. away from where I need to be. Yeah, fun walk. <laughs> a 15 minute drive is probably like three hours. Five, five miles, five and a half miles. Yeah, uh, nah, it's probably three hour walk. Yeah, at least two, two and a yeah. half. Yeah, that's like speed walking. Yeah. Where's this? 
back. What does it say? Trump 2024. Take America back. Yeah. Take America back from this Biden. Maybe you should have stayed. Well, that's really <laughs> fucked. That's really <laughs> fucked up. Uh, oh, come on, self control. Why couldn't you have my back there? <laughs> I didn't know you could put that on your license plate. I guess so. I guess some people have the. Oh, it might be like a. When you're parking at Disney, you can like park in that yeah. special spot. Yeah. Yeah, that Kmart is definitely closed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks boarded up with the metal sheets and stuff. Yeah, they did not make it. I think they're done. I just think Kmart as a company is done. Yeah. I see. They still have a website. Really? Yeah. I don't know if they're actually selling things on their website anymore or. Same with Toys R Us, they still have a website. I don't know why Toys R Us closed all their stores. Like, that was such like a fond memory I had. Yeah. Like, Not with Toys R Us, kid. Toys R Us. Yeah. And, and I, was like, I was like, oh, hell yeah. That's what's up, they got the video games, they got the toys. Hell yeah, I'm getting the biggest thing in the store you're getting. Like, don't drive me there expecting not to. Like, come on. Yeah. It was just great. It's like if you go to a store now and you're looking at like something online and you go to a store and you find the item and you're just like comparing it. It's just nice to have like a physical comparison. Yeah. That's Hold what it I in. do half the time in there. It's like, oh. Hold it in your hand. Cool. Look at it. when you block Chinese people up for, you know, months on end, uh-huh. we're going to have shortages. Yeah, remember how you, like, put sanctions on stuff? Yeah, remember how you uh, <laughs> locked all the Chinese people inside their houses? How do you expect these microchips to be made? Sanctions and, um, you just, all of your stuff, like, I'd say a solid 80% of your company is overseas in countries that we no longer, like, take stuff from. Mm-hmm. I guess that one didn't work out. They're trying to dodge the taxes and stuff. We need labor laws in other countries, but, you know, now you don't have your goods, so... Benefits and costs. I guess I should have asked you before we started driving for the address. Yeah. When it said it couldn't find the location, I should have been like dead giveaway. Yeah, I probably should have like Uber just looked it up on my phone. Uber so. doesn't know where the fuck we are. <laughs> Uber's like, it's not Key West. I don't know what the fuck this place is. This is just like the in between. Yeah, what is this? You want to be dro- world. dropped what, off I don't in the what middle, you're talking about. middle of the Atlantic here? Yeah. What do you mean? You're in the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> it's like, how are you on water? They do have Ubers for boats nowadays. What? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, you can like Uber a boat to you to pick you up and drop you off places. That's not Uber. Uber. It's not something else, but yeah. it's a different app. Uber nautical. Yeah. <laughs> they also have for like small planes and helicopters. That would have been great for me. 
Yeah, but it's not it's not cheap. Oh, I bet. <laughs> it's not cheap. Yeah, You'll be chartering the whole flight yourself. That's There's no Uber pool in that one. Fuck that. <laughs> it's 0.1 miles. Turn right. Damn, even if I had like a crazy excess amount of money, I would not be taking fucking private planes and helicopters and stuff. It's a broken white light. Get them down. Turn right. Alright, we're almost there. Yeah, this looks like a place where somebody would rent out a house. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that last one was a little rough. I was like, well, like, there's chickens in the yard and uh, there's... Chickens and gravel lots. Yeah, I don't know. There we go. Yeah, that that this looks more like it. Turn right. <laughs> I wore my uncomfortable mask today. Is that the N95? Yeah, I had a couple. Like, I had to have one when I went to um, Europe on the planes. So yeah. They let you ride without it. Yeah. Because at first it just used to be like the normal like cloth mask, and they were like, "No, you can't wear that anymore. You have to wear an N95." And I was like, "Okay." And I thought it was pretty comfortable at first, sure. but after a while, nice. it kind of like. Right. Yeah, it gets annoying. It gets your nose a little and it's like itchy oh. and you're like, well, this thing's not uncomfortable anymore. Yeah. They're expensive though. Those were expensive as hell. Yeah. I work my wife works at a, in the medical industry, so uh, I get free pass. Yeah, my mom works in the pharmacy at Hampton Hospital, so yeah. Turn she right. has access to it. Hopefully this is the right location. We'll keep our fingers crossed here. And half a mile. Turn left. Five minutes out, so. I wonder what the controls that were over here do. Probably not much of anything. Yeah, I was like, what do you do for a living? Probably work from home, but like. Probably like CEOs and. Yeah. I feel like these are like weekend out, or like not weekend, but like, like summer homes or something. Yeah. Rich uh, Russian billionaires. <laughs> Andrew Tate. <laughs> He's such a joke. I think that guy is such a joke. Why? He's like, okay. He's cool and all, but is like, he? He's kind of a <laughs> dick. He's a real dick. He's a dick. <laughs> Like, the reason why he was kicked off uh, British, Instagram and no, the American Idol thing, not, Ameri an asshole? not American Idol, uh, Big Brother, he was on the Big Brother UK version. Oh, really? Yeah, he got kicked off because he was beating the shit out of his girlfriend, oh and there was like, my God. there's a video of it. Oh, wow. Of no, because his whole thing is like, look at me, I'm the rich guy, I'm I'm, I'm big and bad and cool, and I'm, I'm, I'm Romanian, so I'm scary. Yeah. Me and but my brother look like twins. Or the scary, the scary almost Russians. But uh, <laughs> I guess there's 25 women that have his name tattooed on them. Oh boy. So that's the thing. Like he gets all his Two girlfriends to get miles. his name. I just, I think like as a person, he's a piece of shit. Oh yeah. And I just like don't I like him at all. Yeah, he's, it's a rough, like, whenever someone's like, oh, did you hear what Andrew, and I was like, I don't care, no, cause it, I don't care. No, because it's, <laughs> the people that like him are, like, the, the, like, Turn left. the guys that are so afraid of being anything else but, a, like, a guy. Yeah. Like, they're, like, the super, I don't, I don't want to say super straight guys, but, like, super masculine. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The bros, bros. Yeah, they're like, oh. You've arrived. As to the Vista. Baby. Does this look more like it? Yeah, it's exactly like it. Alrighty. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yep, no problem. I'm just going to drive back, I guess. <laughs> yes, the ride is complete. Alrighty.
me a lot during uh, my Uber drive. Yeah, but I don't know if you're really doing the Uber thing all the way in Key West. Huh? Like I was making you any money considering how far that is. That one ride got me $130. Yeah, but how much gas? I spent like half a tank, so that's another... Maybe 20 bucks? I don't know. I don't know, Robert. You don't know? It just feels like you always get away with the, the easy thing, you know? <laughs> I get away with the easy like, thing? Huh? Driving for six hours yeah. straight is easy? Yeah. It's beautiful driving to the I oh. would just go there and just drive there and not, you know, even stay there. Let me go, yeah, take, let me go take some pictures of where I'm at. <clears throat> you, didn't, you didn't enjoy your drive? No, it's fine. Oh, no, no, no. I have one kid from the car. I don't know.
Yeah. This is the right address, right? Yeah. To... And I was in the side though. Okay. Sorry, Dean. All good. Let's get to where you gotta go. <clears throat> Oh, uh, three seven five seven. That's uh, that's, that's good. Safety reasons. Two and a half a mile. Make a U-turn. This is a mission priority. That's not. You never got that. The pink thing. Oh, it's the first time. Oh yeah. Yeah. But it's my first time back from her driving uh, for like two years. Oh, uh, so it's probably like a new thing. For yeah. You. much, but when I did, um, I guess when I had started doing it, it was in Orlando, mm -hmm. and then I moved to Marathon, Okay. and I stopped using it, but my boyfriend took the car, and he had a couple beers, and he's like, can you move over here so you drive back? <laughs> so I was like, are you sure? 0.1 miles. It better be safe than sorry, yeah, right? Especially over here in Key West. Yeah, there's so many cops out here. The keys, I know. My goodness, I went, I, this is my first time coming down here, first time coming down here for an Uber drive, and uh, the cops getting in here were like every 30 oh, nice. feet, and I was like, man, this is overkill. Yeah, I know. We come, we, well, like drive. I said, I, I lived in Orlando, and then I met him here in Marathon, so I moved out here, I lived here for like three years or something. You like it down here? And I have three kids. Yeah. And they're two of them are teenagers, and, and they're like, eh. <laughs> I don't really like it, because obviously it's not like Orlando over there. They have yeah. parties and stuff, and you know, malls, clubs and, and yeah. all kinds of stuff they and, get into. I mean, they like it because of the beach, but it's like you know, we, should, we can come here and go to the beach whenever. Man, it's paradise now. Yeah. I, if it was just me and him, I would be right here. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, the kids, I gotta stay over there. Yeah. yeah. But we're down here for, for 0.1 miles. Boo? You're booing me? Yeah. Oh I'm my goodness. Anyway. Everybody's a critic nowadays. Boo! Know, 35, okay. 35, yeah, 35 and a 30. I was telling my boyfriend, I was like, what the heck? Turn left. It's because of the speed limit or whatever. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's silly though. Hello? Yeah. I'm gonna, um, I prefer a coastal dock, that's where I'm gonna get off dock at. So, because I figured that's where you're at, right? Eh, no, eh, I'm Uber. Well, it's like a taxi, but it's an Uber. Half a mile. Turn right. That's cool how you have a <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Four hundred. I'm four miles under just because you booed me. Man, I'm seeing a lot of F Joe Biden flags out here. <laughs> yeah. And this like that over there too in Orlando. Yeah. Florida hates Biden. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Treat our senior citizens so bad. <laughs> well, here I think when I think I was still living here when the whole like the election thing was coming up. Okay. And I don't know, surprisingly, well, not like surprisingly in that way, but like yeah. you know, I don't know. Turn right. To me, surprisingly, there was a lot of people going like you know for Trump and like having Trump uh, flags and all this stuff. Yeah, that's not a lot. And I was, I was like, just, wow. Like, that's Wow, that's that's weird to shocking. Me, but <laughs> yeah. But you guys are really into this Trump guy. Yeah. Right. After all the stupid shit he said on Twitter. Yeah, but I was just like, what the heck? But I think when I, I think when they did the, when Biden became president, I think I was already in Orlando. Yeah. Well, to each their own, Biden, Trump, don't make a difference to me. Me neither. I don't, really, I know, I I don't feel a difference. Me like, neither. That's what I said. I said same I don't really shit. Care. Different day. I mean, sometimes if I, if, like, not sometimes, but when I, when I can put my move and I do it, I do it. But to me, it's like. Okay, where are we? It's right here where it says Coastal Dock. You see that big sign right yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can just make it right distant, here. Baby. Alrighty. You have a great evening. Thank you.
Do it, do it up big with your. I Uber before in Orlando, but it was a really nice drive. Yeah, yeah, no problems. <laughs> with your uh, little. Oh, let little me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put it in park to unlock the doors. Okay. There you go. All right. Thank All right. you. Yep. Have a good night. You too. ahead. Speeding would be a big mistake.
Look at that mask, man. Look at that mask. Mask.
outside. Let's see what to do a pee pee <laughs> a pee pee I should have brought my phone in. I don't know if I got miss miss things now or what, but I'm just trying to get to the mainland. And I'll do finish my my uh, finish my tour in the uh, Miami. Miami. Yeah, Once I got pinged down here, then I'll you know, I'll take whatever ride it's thrown at me. But who knows?
opinion would be a big mistake.
Yes. Sorry, what's the message? Ass, grass, or gas. I got it. Ass, grass, or gas. Do you want to send it? Or Sorry, what's the message? Ass, grass, or gas? Question mark. I got it. Ask grass or gas. Do you want to send it or change it? Send. Okay, it's sent. Ahead. Speeding will be a big mistake. Speeding will be a big mistake.
Binge World. When, where is this boat to eat?
original plan was to uh, just wait around. I didn't realize it's like it's yeah. That's the already seven. around and be out here till 3 o'clock in the morning trying to get home. What is ahead? Speeding would be a big mistake.
I should have got coffee <laughs> instead of coconut water. Uh, yeah. Sometimes I don't like to be all jittery, though. Yeah, 357.
know English? Yes, English. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, she asked no Espanol. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys need street lights out here. What's, what's going on? No street lights? I know. It's like, it's really dark. It's here. so dark. I had to like yeah. turn on brights. I was like, man, I hope it's not a dirt road <laughs> at the end here. I just got my windows tinted and I'm like, maybe it's too dark. <laughs> <I'm> like, ah. <laughs> no, it's really dark in here. It's like, I don't know. Oh my god, I'm so tired. I feel you. I feel you. I just drove from Fort Lauderdale to the Keys. <laughs> so oh I'm my like, god. Yeah, I was like, wow, this is the longest trip I've ever been on. Speed tip though, it's okay. Yeah. Now I'm just trying to work my way back home. <laughs> uh, where do you live? Pompano. Ooh. Yeah. Oh no. What are you doing at Homestead? <laughs> I'm on my way from the Keys. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. <laughs> I almost canceled on Buddy, but, you know, uh, it's money, so I might as well. Uh, uh, depending, depending. The short trips, not so much, but the longer trips, yeah. Uh, As of late, Lyft has been pretty bad. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what's going on with that company, but you know, they don't seem to be paying too much. So when a lift does come in, I'm like, oh, oh God, oh, no. <laughs> no. But I used to be like all about lift. I used to be like, yeah, lift's the best. <laughs> the clientele seems a lot less shady than the Uber side. And you get some real sketchy people on Uber, and it's like, wow. <laughs> Because I guess they can put in any name they want. Mm -hmm. So I get like names like Snoop Doggy Dog <laughs> needs to get picked up. And I'm like, wow. Oh well, <laughs> uh, I don't think this is Snoop. <laughs> no, when my mom asked, um, she asked if you were scared like driving around here. Oh, it is pretty sketchy. Yes. <laughs> it is pretty sketchy. Yeah, she don't live there. That's her job. And she oh, was okay. just having like a barbecue with nice. her boss and his mom. That's what's up. Yeah. She lives more down there. Yeah, I used to live in Cutler Bay. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm from there. Cool. Right by Sal Salama? Yes. Yes, right, right, right here. Right got too high and I had to go. I was like, huh? Oh, you don't charge it that much? I'm out of here. I was telling people, like, Homestead, that's the only place that, like, you can get a reasonable house if you, if you want to get in the market. Yeah. Yeah. And a half a mile to left. It is it is far from every everywhere, especially if you like work in Miami or something. Yes. That commute is no joke. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you just told me 
turn left, this is a one way. Uh, you turn left. You got me doing some fucked up shit, Arnold. <laughs> Did you guys have pig at the barbecue? Hmm? Did you guys have pig? No. No? We had like some Mexican food. Okay. Yeah. My wife's uh, Cuban, so whenever there's barbecue, she's like, oh, pig? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, every country is different. Yeah. Yeah. For us, like our Hispanic people, yeah. I'm not going to say because Cubans are also Hispanic, yeah. but like. Kinda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, our barbecues are different. Yeah. Mine, okay, our barbecue is like sausage, um, chicken wings, oh, nice. ribs, and um, that's it. Well, I love some good chicken wings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got my comfy mask at, at home. I gotta work, wear this scratch one. <laughs> well, I'm, you know, vaccines and the the boosters and all the other stuff, but I still got it like twice, so it ain't nothing to be played around with. Yeah. Better be safe than sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Especially you in a little car and like. Somebody coughs, it's like, ah, oh, game over. <laughs> <laughs>
as an Italian, I'm like, ah, oh, that's my weakness. I can't taste anything. <laughs> I know I'll survive it if I get it again, but it just, it just sucks like, having yeah. it. I'm trying to avoid it, like, you know, as much as I can. My foster one, she don't worry about, um, no COVID thing no more. She worries about the monkey. Oh, yeah, that's a scary one. Yeah. I saw, I saw some pictures of that on the really? internet. Yeah, not to be played with. I don't believe in none of that. No? No. Because I've seen, I've seen people with it. Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh -uh. There's a guy going through a McDonald's drive thru mm -hmm. on YouTube, and he's got full monkey pox. He's got boils like this big. Oh, wow. And he's like, well, I had to get food. I, like, yeah. I'm supposed to be quarantining myself, but it doesn't work when you're, you know, don't have money. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that one's mostly transmitted through the gay community. Oh yeah, that's what my foster mom told me. <coughs> Every time she goes to the gym, she's cleaning the... Oh, oh the dude, <laughs> she's like wiping yeah, everything like, down. Yes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I feel her on that one though. <laughs> like, I do not want to end up with that, that crap. Yeah. I never had monkey pox as a kid, or, or chicken pox. Yeah. So, this looks worse. So, yeah, no. <laughs> no. There's a lot going on. Yeah, there is. Now, plus she's a teacher. She be doing all this stuff. Like, oh, she got to work with the kids? Oh, yeah, no. She, um, she said that when she went to do the, the fingerprint, they couldn't take it because she used a lot of hand sanitizer. Oh. <laughs> yes. Because you're a reader. Damn. I stay, I stay with hand sanitizer on me. Like, yeah, I'll play around. Like, anytime I go and touch any public doors, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, even when she go to the hospital, she'd be like, no, Anna Yelly, you gotta put on some hand sanitizer or something. Don't touch your face until you wash your hands. And I'm like, okay, Mr. Robin. <laughs> yeah, my wife, wife works in the medical industry, so. <laughs> very strict about what we can and can't do but sometimes it doesn't make any sense if she wants to go to Disney World we go to Disney World so <laughs> then we all get sick and like well that wasn't the first thing to do <laughs> I don't know any personally, and I don't know anybody personally that's had the monkeypox, but I've seen videos and footage of it, and I do believe it's real. <laughs> I never seen no photos or videos. Oh, uh, don't look it up, it's, especially if you have to eat. Don't look it up, it's gross. <laughs> it's gross. got done eating, I wouldn't look it up. <laughs> the Labor Day weekend? Is that what everybody's out and about? Happy Monday, there's no school. Oh, that's what's up. Yup. No work, no school. No school, nothing. Yeah. I get to stay home and sleep. That's what's up. Yup. Hit that snooze button a couple times. 
turn off the alarm clock. If you don't mind me asking, how old are you? Hmm? How old? I'm 17. Just to let you know, mm -hmm. we're not supposed to be driving people under 18. Unaccompanied. Really? Yeah, it's a thing. But uh, I, I don't really care. <laughs> so, like most drivers don't care, but there are a couple sticklers out there that'll be like, no, you have to have your parents. But I saw your mom, so you're cool. Oh yeah, my foster mom and my real mom, but they okay with me using Uber. So, like, yeah. yeah, as long as they're yeah. cool with it, I'm cool with it. Me, I always use Uber, I mean, Lyft, and I never had, like, a bad experience. Nobody ever told you that, though? No. Oh, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Let me be the first. <laughs> yeah, it's in the terms of service that there's, uh, you're not supposed to pick up people that are under 18. Yeah, I need it. You know, nobody cares, but yeah. as long as you're cool, I'm cool. Mm -hmm. So you almost done with school then. Yeah. Well, high school anyways. You looking into colleges? You gonna take some time off? No, I'm gonna go to college. Okay. Yeah. Any colleges in mind? Hmm? You have any colleges in mind or? Since I'm from down south, I would go um, to Miami Day College, the one by, um, I don't know. Down, oh, yeah, yeah. Like in the home state, yeah. Yeah, my daughter did, uh, my stepdaughter did state community for two years. She, she, she did most of the stuff online. Mm -hmm. uh, it was real, real convenient. Just got her first job. Okay. Yeah, she's working at a little arcade. Responsibility and whatnot. That money comes from a place, you know, it's not just <laughs> growing on trees or anything.
What made no sense is the keys, the gas was cheaper than down here. Really? Yeah, the gas was three thirty. Oh wow. And I was like, damn, everywhere over here you can't get gas for less than three fifty. That didn't make no sense to me. I was like, why is in the keys you think it would be more expensive but Yeah. <laughs> when I had a chance. Zero point one miles. Turn right. Yeah, we used to come to this movie theater. Hmm? We used to come to this movie theater when we lived over here. Eat at that taco place. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, we stayed right up the street. nice for a little while, but it's a little boring for if you're like a teenager or, you know, yeah. not too many, not too much to do down here.
0.1 miles at the roundabout. Continue straight. At the roundabout. Continue straight. And a half a mile. Turn. Zero point one miles. Turn. Turn right. Zero point one miles. Turn left. Hasta la vista, baby. No, right in the back. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Have a great weekend.
give me a second, I'll be okay. Alright. Yeah, can I get uh, a number 11? Give me a five. Five. Five in a Pepsi's okay? Uh, let's do a Dr. Pepper. Okay. Would uh, I be out for you today? Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Major. Have a Those are the three methods of payment I accept. Thanks, boss. Nah, that's okay. Right. I'm not going to return it.
1.1 miles. Gentlemen. Might get it in the back. Hmm? You might. How many are we taking? Four. Ooh. Right in the Actually, I'm gonna have to cancel this ride. Why? Um, I'm not comfortable with people sitting in the front. Oh. Um, you say you want nobody sitting out to the front. Yeah.
Oh shit. Justin? Yes, sir. All right. Good reach, I believe. Yeah. Central City Center? Yep. Let's get to where you gotta go. Thank you, man. No problem. Make a U-turn. This is a mission priority. Sometimes the GPS ain't the smartest thing on the... Yeah, exactly. Thing. Turn right. Can I get out this way? Alright.
from from Reach though. I swear, no, I swear, I'm in the car. FaceTime me. A half a mile at the roundabout. Take the second exit. No, man. Come on now. No, I'm on the way to Reach. Where you just got there? Oh man, is it? What's the unit? Is it high? Oh shit, whose place is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zero point yeah, one miles. Take the second exit. Hey Cam, you're not bodied yet, man. I'm waiting. I'm not pumping, man. I was trying to get there the same time as you guys, bro. It's a roundabout. Yeah, bro. We were trying to we we're trying to link with you after dinner, but you you weren't even trying to see us. Yeah, he don't want you in the house, man. He's trying to get his. He kicked you out, bro. <laughs> he said you got. Yeah, he's about to have his own party, man. <laughs> yeah, but I'll be there in I'll be there in 18 minutes, man. Okay, perfect. They're gonna be Charger from here. Oh, yeah, right here? Yeah, I'm thinking that. No problem. Sent me to the future to save you. Let's go. Remember the guy said the waitress? The waitress? The waitress? No, I know the girl. What she said to me. Roger, hi. Red light camera ahead. Speeding would be a big mistake. Oh, yeah. Point one miles. Turn right. Turn right. How did you get the same thing? What was that? How did you get the guy? I'm late. <laughs> I just I've never know. heard this one. I was here in Jamaican. Yeah, I, I haven't heard this one. It's Jamaican, a white girl, and then it's uh, now I heard this one. I've never heard this one before. Yes, uh, if you go into the <laughs> voice. I have one that sings, so I don't know. Yeah, hers sings Jamaican. Oh, nice. Which is crazy. Yeah, if you go into voice, it's uh, Terminator. <laughs> Terminator. Oh, that's why I was like, okay. That is. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> 
Yeah, I used to have Cookie Monster, but they took them. Oh, no! my God, no way. Yeah. Oh, my God. You'd be like, watch out for cops. You know what else starts with C? Oh, my God. You would have died. That would have been mine, 110%. Half the gay guy that sings to me. Nice. Turn left. Again, 0.1 miles. Turn right. And then... <laughs> yeah, that shit gets annoying though. No, yeah, I, I gotta switch. So I gotta switch up Arnold actually, cause he's every <laughs> time. Oh my god, if they had Cookie Monster, I'd lose my shit. <laughs> it did I for would lose my shit. a short time. After two miles of directions, you're like, all right. All right, all right. Well, listen to Arnold after a while. Some of his lines sound a little botched. And I was like, man, yeah. that was the final take? They couldn't do one more? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh my God. Whenever he says, like, stay straight, he's, like, almost giggling at the end. I'm like, yo. <laughs> 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 oh, they could have got one more take, like probably. Kevin really had speeding would be a big mistake. <laughs> that don't make no sense. Like, red light camera, don't speed. Nah, just don't fly. At that point, at that point, they just want to talk, huh? Yeah. He's like, oh, my dad created his own. Like, there's like a thing you can make. Like, yeah, you can make dad, your own. And my dad yells and says, don't fucking turn! Like, he yeah. literally made himself one, and it was horrible. <laughs> and then he reset his phone, he didn't have it, he was like, oh no! We're like, thank God. <laughs> it's gone. Thank the God, because fuck that. My dad literally was really like, Hey, motherfucker, take a U-turn. And I was like, you know you sound like an asshole, right? And he was like, no, it's fine. Everyone loves it. I was like, I'm sure. <laughs> when your business takes, when you put your ways on, everyone's like, that makes sense. Like he was also absolutely fucking hammered when he made it, so he just slurs the whole time. It's great. It's like, you turn right. <laughs> and he's like, oh. That's an expensive ticket to mess around about. Like, Is it? Yeah. It's like, I've never, a, like I've literally gone on a ride. I think it's like a hundred dollars now. Really? Yeah. Oh. And you can't fight them in court anymore. You used to be able to like take it yeah, to the take your picture. Tick ticket clinic. Yeah, You're like, nah. Got you red hand deal with that shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, the traffic this weekend has to be complete ass. Oh yeah. Yeah, my first trip was like to Key West. Shut up. Yeah, I was like, whoa. <laughs> That's a long what trip. Usually, what do you usually Uber at? Uh, usually I'm, I stick around from like South Beach to uh, Boca Raton. Okay. Whoa. So you went, damn. You went to Key East. Yeah. The furthest one. Yes. <laughs> Way oh, out fuck, there. That's like four hours. It is. I was. I'm just now getting back. This is me going north. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Wow, that is fucking. That's brutal. It is. If you're not used to driving for long stretches, don't accept those big fares. <laughs> Whoa. It was a cute car for a long minute. Yeah, like, the Charger was iconic. No, I know. <laughs> but it, he was between that or another car. Uh, I think muscle cars, but it's been cool. When did they announce that? Everything's going to be electric now. Nah. It was a couple months ago. Like, yeah, I feel you. I, I really like the Honda Fit. It's not a, not a super sports car or anything, but I like the, the shape of it. And then, they're like, I went to go buy a new car, and they're like, oh, we don't make that no more. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, shit. Everything's going to electric, man. 
Well, they're quiet. I'll give them that. No, they're quiet. I tried to get an electric car. This, they gave me a two-year wait estimate for a Tesla. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> I don't know how anybody gets one. Like, I'm not going to wait two years yeah, for a car. Yeah. They made a really ugly Mustang. Like, I looked at the latest Mustang. The that GT, thing. Yeah, the GT like, is terrible. Half, like... SUV, <laughs> real ugly. That's that's the Jones. That's the Jones. It's the Hellcat. It's fast. Right. So they have them like on every fucking corner. They're in the middle of Times Square. 
that is the number one pizza in the middle of the night. The Disney store is absolutely crazy. Zara's crazy too, by the way. But um, you're in my favorite place in the whole entire world. So if you if you guys are gonna go anywhere else, like Soho, or you're gonna go to like, not not Mama Special, it's not me. But if you're gonna go to Soho or like Brooklyn or um, Washington Heights, let me know, okay? Because I know everything around there and the best places. I'm so fucking jealous. Is Princess there? Oh shit, yeah. Don't worry, here. Here's Justin. Alright, Chris, have fun. In a half a mile. Jump it up. Huh? Hey, you know, what's up, my friend? You guys have fun, alright? I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Talking about a 9/11 play? No, 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 9/11 like the memorial. Okay. In New York, and then they're gonna Shit, go see the movie. Right? I know how that. <laughs> I know how that one ends. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Um, there, his family's in New York. Yeah. Some of his family, so um, I was like, oh shit, look, I know everything in New York, so let me know. Yeah. But I genuinely thought it was his father, and it was his brother that is in New York. So why are we drinking dirty martinis if we hate olives? Oh, yeah, I know, right? No, honestly, like, the <laughs> fucking olive juice, if you, like, just hold your breath a little bit, you don't taste the vodka at all. So, like, it's... No, honestly... You like, gotta you hold your breath when you drink If you drink hold it? your breath and you swallow, it's just, like, kind of like a tart taste, and oh, you're fine. Geez. It doesn't taste like vodka. There's other drinks out there, you know? Like, oh, I know, but honestly, <laughs> like, the last time I went out of town... I was with my family, and my cousins were all ordering, like, wine and shit, and I was like, nah, I better look classy at some point, like, I can't <laughs> just order, like, straight vodka, yeah. so I was like, fuck it, uh, so I ordered a dirty martini with my friend, and, uh, and, um, it worked out, it worked out very sweet. Yeah, when I was, I, I went, and then I gambled, and I won a shit ton of money, so. Two point one miles. When I lived in New Orleans, that was like my go-to. <laughs> it was like dirty martinis. Yeah, I don't like olives at all, but um, I guess that worked out. So it's worked out for me or something. Eric, your friend? What's he doing? He's doing a whole dance. Oh, he's probably on drugs. Drugs? He's on drugs. Makes sense. <laughs> that's, not, that's not even normal. Look. He tried to do a Scottish dance and he's a whole lot of black man. That is not. The whole video. <laughs> what are you doing? That's drugs. That's drugs. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? You do you want to go to the movie? Are you sad? I don't want to go. The video's like friends. three minutes of him dancing. <laughs> Great video. <laughs> Jump left. Blackmail <laughs> videos. Around the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. He, he, he figured out this shit. Like, bro, what? <laughs> no black man doesn't start a dance. One mile bro. <laughs> at the roundabout. Bro, I don't know who, I don't even know if this is in the street. The movie room is right here. No, but there's no good movies out. Yeah, right. that's a problem. <laughs> there should be. There it is. That is a problem right there. There has been no good movies for nothing. about a year. That's why the movies are so open right now. I don't even know what's in theaters right now because <laughs> they stopped the advertising. Thing, they came out with another orphan one. The last good thing that Final I Final Kill. I don't know if you're big into the superheroes. Well, I am, but I'm more of a a good movie guy. So if it's a good superhero well, Jurassic movie, Jurassic Park was good. Yeah, it was good. I love Jurassic. Park. But the last Batman, you saw that last Batman was. Oh, I thought it was Batman. garbage. It was yeah, terrible. exactly. Thank you. It was you're, terrible. You're I sat Christian my ass Bale down not knowing shit. I thought it was so bad. It was Thank so you. bad. And it was so long. Boring. <laughs> Just Dude, straight I, boring. I did not know shit about Batman. That's the problem. Even so I got Man. there and I was like, fuck this. Okay. Spider-Man was better than Batman. Oh, was that Spider-Man was okay. 
Spider-Man was better than Batman. Well, if I have to make a fuss at you here, you know why? Turn left. So he grew. Oh yeah, last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You gotta read a couple subtitles, but besides that, it's pretty good. Uh, action? Yes. Action, drama, all the things. Um, yeah, action. Are there any kids involved? Yes. Beautiful. I, I'll watch it. I can get into, like, an action movie unless it's, like, a kidnapping, like, fucked up kind of movie. <laughs> well, this movie is fucked up, so <laughs> you'll like it. What's it called again? Everything, everywhere, all at once. No, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, that one's like recently out or some shit. And it looked interesting, but not interesting enough to go watch it. Yeah, that was the problem, man. Ever since the pandy hit, we've been treated to horrible movie after horrible movie. Yeah. Oh. Alright, go for it, bro. Fire? Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it ain't where you're going. Oh, <laughs> no! Watch it be Sam. No, Lexi, the okay. fire in Aventura was right in front of Lexi's house. Really? Yeah, yeah I called her, I was like, do you need a place to stay? She was like, yeah, I'm good. There's a fire probably like once a month, so... Let's do not enter, but I'm gonna drop you all, you all off. Oh, oh yeah, we yeah. enter. Yeah, yeah you, can, uh, you can stop right here. Alright, we'll, we'll guys. We'll get out right here. Thank you, man. Yep. Have a good night, alright? You too. Oh, shit. For you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Justin, I, I t- it takes me a second, bitch, to put this wallet back in this goddamn purse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I will not forget my drink. There was no. I don't know what you're talking about. We had no. No there drinks. No drinks, no drinks in the here. car. So I don't know what you're talking about. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Have a good one. You too. Oh, man. Zero point one miles. Turn right. Turn right.
I'm about to call it. I'm in uh, downtown Miami. I'm trying to get out of here, but they keep on texting on more fares. I got my first $40 tip. Yeah? Yeah. So that was nice. And that Key West thing was a $40 tip on top of the $130. Baby, I should be should be coming home soon if uh, all goes well. I'll, yeah. I'll see you soon. I'm gonna probably maybe this guy or the next guy is probably gonna be my last trip. Okay. All right, baby. I'll talk to you later. Turn right. It's a roundabout. It's a roundabout. left. You have arrived. Hasta la vista, baby. Can I get out that way? Yeah, well, well, no, it's no, going to be here right, right, right okay. and then right again. Okay. It's going to be very quick. It's going to be like a minute, right? Mm -hmm. uh, wow, well, not today. <laughs> That's a Saturday, so I'm yeah. sorry. Maybe on Tuesday. <laughs> so it's telling me so to go. It's going to be a right. No, no, he doesn't okay. know where to go. Really. Okay. So it's going to be a right. Okay. I'm going to right again, and we're basically there, just over the bridge. Okay. You know, the lady has the high heels, so, uh, yeah, you know, we're trying to be nice. Yeah, we're not trying to do a lot of walking. Okay, so on, on the way back, we're no, walking no, We're walking no. on the way back, so, <laughs> so I'm sorry. Did you bring her pumps with you? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, she said it. You heard it, right? <laughs> Jump right. Yeah, so it's going to be right on the other 
other side of the bridge, right, and then we're... I think I just dropped someone somebody off here. Someone is right. Also, right? That's why we'll wait for their phones to get up. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, of course you know them. <laughs> it seems like you know them very well. It's that one. Te voy a pegar. Okay. I'm trying to get you somewhere, yeah, thank you. Mark, somewhere Mark, safe to drop line. you off, though. Yeah, okay, you can just... Um, is, is, uh, is that cool down. where it's already Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Can I get through here? No. Yeah, you, you can just leave us here. I mean, we can just drop oh, off. I just want to get you somewhere where you're not going to get run over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. Make a U-turn. This is a mission priority. And then turn left. Make a U-turn. This is a mission priority. And then turn left.
you've arrived. Hasta la vista. What's up, baby? Uh, I'm in the red Toyota. I'm in the red Toyota. I'm in the red Toyota. left and then turn her.
turn left, and then turn left. Turn left. Turn left.
Turn left. Turn left. Turn left, and then exit right, I insist. Exit right, I insist. In a half a mile, keep...
Blap. 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 Right. 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 Booger. Disgusting. Stab. Moving. Pus filled. Wart.
makes the truck not consist. Talking to people, talking to people, talking to people. 